that, what's up? And what's up to the YouTube viewership? Please hit the like button. Please comment on what you want to see on the show. I appreciate y'all checking me out. This is the Needed Podcast, episode 10. There's 10 episodes in. I'm here with my man, the real GOAT, my <laughs> man, Big Gene. What's up, man? How you feeling? How you making out? I don't feel good, man. I think someone took taking my spot, yeah. man. I mean, that, that's how it goes, man. Yeah, you know, that's it. Uh, and also, obviously, we here with Big Gene, but we also here on the conference call is my man Skimbo, the new goat. I told y'all last year he was a new goat, but then after I said that, he kind of fell off a little bit. He kind of got popped a couple times, <laughs> and then this year he popped up again. So, Mike, how are you feeling? How do you feel after winning the third belt? Talk about that. Yeah, I feel good. I mean, I took the loss in the club series. I had some thinking to do. Realized I lost on a lot of money and decided there's three, you know, tournaments left and I got to take advantage of those and I locked in and you know me, you know me better than anyone. I go in there, feel like I'm not as prepared as I should be, but I end up being the most prepared dude there and end up getting the win. Yeah, so it, it kind of goes to, I mean, you got to remember, and I tell people this a lot and I told them my training camp genius, but they asked me, what's the biggest advice you can give somebody that starts playing Madden? Yeah. These guys really ain't that good. No matter how much skimbo he worry, I'm not ready. I'm just dead in the third. You got to realize everybody else is in the same boat. Not everybody's all the way prepared that's like you think true, you need man. to be, really. You know? that's, that's been very true since since I played in 0-2. 90% of the people there ain't not good at yeah, all. Nobody's really that good. And that's yeah. skimbo always yeah, very That's kind of like what happened. Like I, was over, like I was over prepared, and then I was watching some people play, and I'm just like, I feel like I'm a lot better than everyone. <laughs> I didn't think I would be, you yeah. know, and then just kind of how I went. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Well, talk about what changed. Like, after you lost New England, like, what was the biggest thing you had to focus on and change? Not only your game, but also your attitude and your drive. What did that loss do for you? Well, yeah, you know, like I said, the club series is most important. I was pretty upset. You know me. I I start thinking, oh, I need to go get a a real job, blah, blah, blah. (laughs) But then, you know, know, all that stuff went through my head. But then I was just like, you know what, like, real said this it was just like you you decided to take a year off like you're not just gonna stop now you need to just get after it and just hop back on so i felt sorry for yourself i was like yeah "Yeah." (laughs) i was like yeah so i got on regs like every day and played a bunch of regs and you know really enjoyed i really enjoyed regs i i love like i know a lot of people found this later but i felt like i was the first one to see like tyree was at 99 speed he's 100 speed and it's just like you know it's just fun playing regs and getting to use Conley like that was you remember my love for Conley from two years ago I love I've always loved Chris Conley and and Patrick Mahomes I mean it, it was fun getting on regs and you know grinding that end up getting the dub all right now now one thing about the Madden Classic is it's way different than most of the tournaments even the Madden Classic last year was way different and that instead of a structure obviously it changed a lot and just became one tournament where it's just two days you get to rock out. There's really no adjusting. There's really no, I got a game plan for somebody. You're pretty much just doing in the heap and whoever comes out on top. Talk about the difference from that compared to what we're used to with the, you know, you got a week off. Now you get flown out a month later. You prepare. You, the game changes. What's the difference between that and the Madden Classic where it's just two days to play? Well, yeah, Madden Classic, you got to be really uh, on top of your game. Like, uh, I kind of like it. Like, you know, you know how I was. Like, you've been in my hotel when I'm watching – games and how i'm gonna study and how i'm gonna play right you, you've seen me do that well it's mm-hmm. like when, I, when i'm at those tournaments and i'm not playing like i'm out there like i see how the bracket's gonna be and it's like it's like how fast can you adjust in your head you, you're not gonna be able to go and get on an xbox like you got to see what someone's doing and tell yourself how you're gonna play that game before you play it and then if that doesn't work you got a freestyle like master gamer you know how i am about lurking one side like Mm-hmm. first master gamer i was like am i gonna lurk the trip side am i gonna lurk the running back side because he likes to throw it over there i was like so i was just like you know what we'll start it off the trip side if it doesn't go good like you know that's just the difference you really have to be on top of your game in preparation like that on the spot you can't rely on your boys to help you like emb and all that those crews like you know they all get together it's like nah like you gotta you gotta figure out how to do it right now like you're not gonna have a day or a week to prepare and you know, I, I really like that. I feel like that's why, you know, Mo's a good player, and those guys, they're really good at that, like, on-the-fly adjustments. Yeah, and I mean, see, that's why I tell you, most of the tournaments, you know, 10 years ago and everything, yeah, it's, exactly it's you there for a day, yeah. players bowl you there, you do your thing, you do the next day, that's it. Yeah. What were some of the challenges you faced playing that type of mode? Because me, myself, I like, give me a week to prepare for this guy. Give me a day to prepare for this guy. I was never good at, let's play 20 games in a row or something like that. I like the way – what Skimbo had to go through. I like the way it was 10 years ago. I, mm-hmm. I love that way. I, I love 
because I don't feel as though a lot of people could adjust as fast as me when I was playing or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I, I loved it. I actually loved it. I, I hate it actually. Like he would look at he would look at um like he said master. He would look at his game and see what he had to do. I hated looking at games or whatever because oh, yeah. every time I looked at somebody game, I'll get a feel of what I have to do and it'll be wrong. So I just like to like the freestyle so in the middle of the game and do what I got to do. But I love that over the playing a week and preparing and this, that, and the third or whatever. It's just mm-hmm. me or whatever. Maybe because I'm from that era or whatever. But it made me get a whole new respect for Skimbo seeing what he went through when he won a tournament because he did it. When, he's doing it from that era and he did it from that tournament. Like we used to do it from back in the day and it was impressive. Yeah, for Thanks. sure. I mean, <clears throat> he did last year in the Madden Classic, the first tournament in, in New York, you know. Yeah. And that was the one he probably panicked for the most. So I don't know how to play. I suck, blah, blah, blah. I don't have anything. He killed it. Yeah, that, that was that was crazy, that it. tournament. We were all felt unprepared for that mm-hmm. tournament. <laughs> yeah, so. But that's how he yeah. always is, really. Skimbo is, uh, he don't never have to. He never think, oh, I'm going to win this game. I'm going to win this tournament easy. I'm the yeah. best in the world here. Like, he always worried about the wildest yeah. thing, man. And he, he was worried about Tyree Kill. Shoot. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I was definitely because I played a couple pickup games for some money before that tournament and got mm-hmm. blurred and like two of them and, and I was getting like cover two bombs hit on me that I didn't even know existed and I go in the tournament I'm thinking that like everyone knows about it. I realized those two people are like the only ones that even knew about the cover two bombs so like like I always said like I was just preparing that everyone knew about it, and like no one knew about it and like Joke even said it to me he's like you're the you're the reason why little man made the final and I was like what are you talking about he goes. When you were talking about those bombs, we didn't know about it. We went to the hotel that night and found it. And he did it three times versus Blocky for two touchdowns on, one, on two of them for touchdowns. Yeah. And if he didn't have those bombs that you were talking about, he wouldn't have been in the final. Yeah, yeah for sure. Like, that was definitely he, a game changer. Yeah, he straight up like <clears> told me, like, literally, they said they found it, another one, and he used it. And they said if it wasn't for, I guess, me saying it, my dumbass, you know, <laughs> that he wouldn't have been in the finals. But if he would have popped me, I would have been a dumbass. But maybe yeah. that's the matchup I'd rather would have had. You yeah. never know. And that goes back into out. you assuming that everybody's that it's prepared. prepared. You know, he thought, oh, it's a bomb out here. EMB knows about it. Let me go tell him. And then him saying they didn't even know about it's it. Exactly. They, had no, they had no idea about it, too. That's his, that's Ghost's fault. He playing too much Fortnite. He's supposed to be the offensive <laughs> guru at EMB, and he's not locked in. He's not finding any bombs, and you know that's what happened. Ghost lost to a janitor, actually. Seriously? Yeah, janitor. He was like on a lunch break, and he came and played the tournament, beat Joke, beat Ghost, and Joke too. Joke lost to the, the mailman. Yeah, that's, that's, awesome. that's who they lost to out there. No, but that's awesome. but and you said you learned these bombs playing little pickup games and stuff like that, and that all entails to you being so secretive. Nobody knows what Skimbo gonna do, and then everybody else willing to just donate, show me everything, donate everything, and uh, yeah, I mean that's true. I mean, like I learned how to block the nickel blitz, you know, like from playing pickup games. I mean, you know, a lot of people giving me like looks for fifty dollars, and I'll lose a couple hundred dollars just to make you know twenty five thousand, obviously. And that's be, just kind of how it went. Must be nice to be rich, man. I tell you, <laughs> me, I need all my fifty dollars. I need all. Of I need all of it. I'm <laughs> clocking. I need all of that fifty. But you know, I mean, that's an advantage, but. I want to talk about the the Man Classic, the the venue. I mean, obviously security was probably crazy, and how you think it was all handled, an event like this, how EA handled themselves, and what you liked from the event and what you didn't like from the event. Are you talking to me? Yes. Sir. Uh, well, you know what? I did love. I actually love the security. They were all there on the spot. Something that did trip me out though, just because what happened, like you know, being in the elevator going up to it, there was no security. Mm-hmm. Um. Because you remember, you, you go and you go into the elevator, then you go up. And once you're up on that third level, it was bad security. But what's to say, like, like someone doesn't see that and they're waiting, you know, like right there, like right where you go in this little, like, tunnel kind of, you, sure. you know, that's the, I wish they had more security right there. Honestly, mm-hmm. that was like my only complaint was I wish they had more security right in that area going in, not at that third level, because that was great. Like there were security people everywhere once you got right outside you know right outside where you go in obviously once you went in you felt safe but honestly it was like walking toward there i still felt pretty sketched out to be for honest sure. for sure uh, talking security wise after i won though you know obviously after winning you know after what happened i'm thinking maybe there's gonna be something else i'm a target and and so they thought the same thing so they uh, put me in a security guard car, and they actually drove me and took me right to my room in my hotel. So I, I did like that. That's good. Um, yeah, it was just one of those deals. And uh, 
what what else you asked me? Were you just talking about security or the whole uh, tournament? Just the whole the, just the whole tournament. I mean, right, right, right. So something I really didn't like. I'll talk about what I didn't like. Right, we can always point that out better than what mm -hmm. we did. Um, what I hated, I hated this. I hated this. I didn't understand why I was getting emails about what time I played at midnight every night. Like I know we're in Vegas and stuff, but like you know me, I yep. don't want to have any kind of fun till it's over. I'm trying to go to bed around ten or eleven, mm -hmm. and um, I, 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 it's like middle of the night, one o'clock, and they're saying they sent out emails and they didn't. And it's like, you know, do I do I need to wake up at seven a.m. or do I not play till three p.m. And <clears> I didn't, I just did not like how they were. Um, I did not like how we got emails at 12 o'clock at midnight. I thought that's unprofessional to send out a major tournament at midnight. Anytime you send out any emails at midnight, I think that's very unprofessional in my opinion. Uh, let me see what else. Uh, I felt I felt like they did the bracket maybe a little wrong. I didn't know what the seeding were based. I heard it was supposed to be off last year, but you saw Carrier was the number one seed, which, you know, there's a lot of people that were ahead of him last year. So mm -hmm. maybe that's how they did it. Maybe that's not how they did it. But someone said that's how they did it, but I doubt they did. So they can do their own thing on that one. I'm not going to get too upset about that. What I liked about the tournament, I liked, I, I just, um, what did I like? I, I liked a lot. I, I liked how you had your own space, really. You had your own TV. Mm -hmm. um, well, the, uh, the like venue there is is pretty fabulous. You know, it's pretty. Yeah, yeah. The, fa the venue was nice. Really. Like I said, maybe if it was like in a newer era, obviously, but that venue for where it's at, that is a great venue. And then you have mm -hmm. the little theater room where you play and you got a bunch of people sitting down. Um, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much about it, honestly. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, as far as the bracket and as far as, you know, telling you when to play, I mean, that's just, that's not even Madden, that's esports in general. That's organization in general. You know, that's why the yeah. people are put in charge. That's why the people have the job to do things like that. And that really has nothing to do with Madden. It has to do with numbers. Right. It has and, to do with organization me, skills. Right. Let me pick up on that. We've said this many times. Like, we are always going to complain about the game, right? We'll always mm -hmm. complain about it. We're always going to find broken stuff. We'll always talk about and that's what makes Madden mad. We talk about jetpack and we talk about rocket catch. And, you know, we, that's something we look back on. It's like it's in the game. But mm -hmm. there's so much stuff that could get right that has nothing to do about gameplay, something like we can fix. And that's what I'm complaining. I'm not even talking about the game. See, we're talking about complaining. I'm not even complaining about the game, yeah. a fumble, a drop pick. I'm talking about uh, just, I don't know, leadership's the right word, but just more structured. And mm -hmm. we're talking about if we're just on top of our game, you know, that stuff's taken care of at a good time. So, yeah, that's funny you brought that up. That's exactly how I feel a yeah. lot of the times with the MCS. Yeah, and I, I feel like it's that part's not that difficult. You know, I mean, that's why people are put in position. That's why they have their jobs, because they're good at esports. They've been in this before. You know, they've been through right. tournaments. They've been through a regimen where they have to get this right, right. for bigger <laughs> games or this, that, and the third. And for Madden, it's really not that hard. Gene, what's some of the experience you've had with bad tournament directors or good tournament directors? Um... Good tournament directors, it's very hard to come. I, it has to be harder than, than, than we think it is because it's, it rarely happens or whatever. But when it happens, it's, it's amazing. Uh, I don't know. It, it seems like the bad. It seems like the bad tournament directors they they get offended by what we tell them mm -hmm. because it seems like it's common sense to us or whatever. And then they get in their feelings about why. What are you doing this? What are you doing that? This and the third or whatever. And then they just really. At first, they try to listen, and then they like, I could care less about y'all feelings. I'm going to do what I want to do, and y'all just going to play yeah. the game. And I don't know. It, to me, it's like the majority of the people is going to put up with it. So it's like if the, if the majority of people going to put up with it or whatever, I, I understand them saying screw everybody's feelings because y'all going to still play the game, I yeah. guess. It, it has to be like a, a, a majority of people that's like, I'm not putting up with this or whatever. And, and I don't think too many people hey, have that. Even if it. it did, even if me, Skimbo, Prime, Joke, everybody said we're not playing, the next – you know, yeah, yeah, because there's so many people be that right play mad. Exactly. So it's like it's like either y'all gonna deal with it or not. So it's it's, it's a hard fight. It really is. I, I wanted to work with actually EA and do everything, yeah. and I, I don't think they they too much care about the way it's ran. They just care about how many people playing. That might be. Yeah, you know, like I talk about like what makes stuff esports. Like if you really look at it, if the money wasn't there, 
I don't know if this esport would even be here, honestly, because the money is the only thing that's keeping us around, I think, at this point. I mean, to be told if you have a full time job and they had the dates posted for over months that you were going to California and then a month less than a month before they say, actually, you're supposed to be in Vegas for a week. And then if you win, you're going to California. Mm -hmm. And I've had about three people with full time jobs hit me up. Just just they can't believe it. And I'm in a position where I, obviously I play Madden, so that's not going to affect me. Yeah. But like. Honestly, being a full-time Madden player is just not it right now. I mean, it's uh, you, it's just really not it. If you're not a f top five player, you're not getting paid probably over thirty thousand dollars. That's exactly and that's exactly what I told Dobby. It's like, listen, listen. All jokes aside, I would love to play this ten, twelve hours a day, and not work. Yeah. But I just don't see a reason to do it. It's just like, why would I put myself in that position or whatever to do it when? I can work and make money. I, I, exactly. It, it, now, if the money, if the money was way bigger and like maybe the top ten or fifteen were making thirty thousand, that's that's, then that's that's different. It should be more yeah. than that. Then it different. should be more than that, honestly. But that's different. And so you got to think about smart people would be like, see, I don't think I'm smart. The only reason I'm doing this is because I had success one year and I had a lot of it. But a lot of those people that've been on the verge, I mean, they got to keep their jobs, you know, because mm, yeah. you can you can be a drop pick, you could be a drop pick, a fumble from not making any money. Yeah. And, and, and if you took the whole year off, you made no money that year. So you should have a job. So those people that do have a job, that as soon as they're done working, they go play the game for five or six hours, and then they go to bed. That's their repeat. Go to work, play mad at repeat because they still want to get this money and be involved. And they've tried to make it work. Like me, I'm a school teacher. I'm allowed – if I, well, I was going to be. And this is how it works. If you're a school teacher, every year you're allowed to have three days off, and that's it. Gotcha. And you have three days personals, and you have like five sick days. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be a teacher because I would have been fired because my three days would have been up for two. One of them for New England, uh, three of them or four of them for Vegas. Yeah. And then say I didn't go to New England. I'm going to Vegas again for three days. And then I'm going to California for yeah. some days. Yeah. And then I'm going, you know what I mean? But the, the thing that upsets me is, you know, if, if they just put out the freaking schedule and let us know and you could like schedule around and go to your boss, that'd be one thing. But then to tell your boss, hey, uh, you know, I'm doing that tournament I told you about. Yeah, out of nowhere, they're just telling me in three weeks I'm going to Vegas. I'm sorry. Yeah. I know I'm supposed to be here for that meeting. However, yeah. and then he's going to like, uh, no. you're going to have to choose. And you're thinking, well, this is where it gets weird because the club championship's the biggest tournament, so you could win $100,000, and that's kind of life-changing in a way. But, mm -hmm. however, the chances of you winning that are very slim. So what do you do? Do you go to Vegas or do you keep your full-time job? Hey, you you gotta, obviously – You got to keep your full-time you job. Take your job. Yeah, yeah, you got to take your job. And if EA, which is not spring stuff on us the last second, it's like it's become a joke at this point, honestly, because at first – they've been doing this for three or four years now, and they're still doing this to us. At first, it was whatever. The second year, okay, we'll get better. We're the third and fourth year, and they're doing it worse than they did in the beginning, just springing stuff on us like this. And I'm sure they can say – we have stuff too going on, and like I said, at this point, it's like you know it's bad when people aren't even complaining; they just laugh and roll it off. Now that's 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 the mess ups that we've been dealing with. All right, now this is where I tell you I want to talk more about this in depth in a little bit, but first I want yeah. to get into a couple of these games because there's a lot of things. I mean, we talk about all the time that I want to talk about further depth, but I want to get into some of these games that you played and want to get your thoughts on how they played, how you played, you know, and what you were thinking, and, and probably your two toughest games. Obviously, uh -huh. I want to talk about your ice game first because that was what well, you talked about forever. That's been your t was your toughest game, the best yeah. opportunity for you to lose. And then we'll talk about the little man game. But first, I want to talk about the ice game, and I have it up right now, right in the beginning of this. Like, where am I at? I'm at. Yeah. Right? I'm right in the beginning. I'm ready to first play this play. thing. Yeah. You got it. Because we could talk about EA and tournament That's a structure. Long conversation. Yeah, yeah. So I, we, I, I, I probably, I probably went in too much detail. We're talking about the classic, but you know, when I get going about this stuff, oh, I we will. Trust me, it's, it's, it's on, it's yeah. on the docket. I definitely yeah. have a lot of comments myself because it's a little easier when you stepped away and you're watching it and it doesn't pertain to you. I exactly. feel like you can be a little more objective and you also see what's going on see what people are going yeah, through because yeah because like players were, players were kind of just in the moment yeah. dealing with it if you're on the outside and you're like kind of like all right i'm falling back from the scene at the moment yeah. i get to see these other guys do it then you really like are you serious like this yeah. is really happening like what yeah. the hell that's pretty you know? wild yeah but let me know when you get this game up right so we go watch this and talk about uh, what is, it in your, is it in your stream right now uh do you want to do that yeah wait how am i supposed to look at it no, I mean, you can look in the stream. It's just going to be delayed a little bit. 
I'm gonna just well, how, I don't know. I don't understand how else I would look at it at the same time as y'all. No, I thought you was just gonna pull it up, pull it up on your iPad. Are you on your phone or are you on your laptop? Oh, okay. Oh wait, we're not gonna watch the whole game, are we? Nah, we no, we go watch parts, of different things where you thought were important. You know, I don't need to watch the whole game. I know what happens. You run past sale and <laughs> and <laughs> curl flat. Yeah. Uh, let me let me go on YouTube real quick. That time he just quick snap. Jeez, quick snap, curl flat, and left the curl route on the left. It's professional work right there. But this is what we said about Ice, man. One, he was good last year. Lost to you in the champion in the uh, no, 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 Cup Series. No, 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 no. He he's a hundred times better this you know what year. I'm saying, but like, and who knows who he could have matched up with? He could have made a further run. You know, that's what I'm saying. Both in the Club Series last year, as Travis Kelsey just mossed the hell out of his user Travis for a Kelsey touchdown. Is the man. And I'll tell you this, Tra- Skimble, at, he owed Travis Kelsey a lot because. Yes. He, I don't ever, he don't I don't ever send him on routes. He doesn't he doesn't <laughs> throw to Travis Kelsey. If you watch him run bunch, Travis Kelsey blocks every play. Yes. And then he just gives him a little so, bone there in the red zone. Yes. So so what's crazy though, like I really never really force that corner out. I, you know me I always mm-hmm. want to do a low point to a yeah. drag. Well, if you watch how these other games were playing, these rocket catching was just getting unreal like some of these aggressive catches i was playing like a pickup game and i was just like all right i'm gonna force it and i know travis kelsey comes down with it like seven out of ten times so then like i so then i started forcing it and it ended up working there you go he, with that. i mean that's what you have him for essentially he was blocking yeah. and he was catching crazy ca- uh, he was huge man. yeah but he blocked for skimbo every play uh, yeah he was huge man yeah but what what time y'all at i'm at Four. one two minutes two minutes that's what I'm at two minutes on defense. Yeah, Talk minutes. about the decision yeah. and when did we transfer straight to nickel normal oh, as opposed to 335 odd or a dollar? Honestly, this is why I – well, God, we can't talk about the MCS, right? Well, we will. Uh, don't worry about it. But <laughs> Well, well, so I get home and uh, I, I, didn't, I couldn't find anyone to play reg, so I, I go and play draft champions, right? Mm-hmm. And so I got a nickel normal playbook, 335 odd is hard to get. And they had a pat. So I came out there, and I was like, yeah, you know what? I kind of like how this defense is playing right now. I kind of like what the zones are doing. I, I kind of like the blitz. I kind of like where I'm standing. I'm like, okay. So then I go into regs, and I run it, and it's just it's a thousand times better in regs than in draft champion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's just kind of when I hopped on the nickel normal train. It was just uh, just playing draft champions, just playing just playing the game, right? Okay. And just getting, getting reps in, and that's how it kind of came about, me running nickel normal. For sure. Okay. You want two minutes? Yeah, I, I got three ten left in the game or in first quarter. Three ten, Jesus. Where are you at? I was at four something. I'm at three oh three now. I'm about to just play. Yeah, I'm at three oh three. Yeah, in the game. Yeah, I'm pressing play. Yeah, I'm playing. But all right, so you went to nickel normal. Yeah. So we just covered two pretty much every play. Yeah, like this is a fill out drive. It's kind of yeah, for sure. I, I just want to see. I, I don't want to give up any bombs, and I want to see how patient he is. I, I really want to see because right now I'm giving up the dump downs probably this whole drive. I don't want to get greedy and give up a touchdown. I want to see if if he's willing to take his tight end route every time. Like, mm-hmm. you know, it's just it's a long game. I want to see if he'll make a mistake because he's down seven trying to get it back quick or not. And uh, that's just kind of how this was. And he all game really took his underneath stuff. And it was really impressive. Yeah, for sure. And that, that's to me, that's what's always made somebody good in bunch. The ability to throw, throw that little Travis Kelsey route and get 10 yards right, or something right. like that rather than try to force, force the, the post touchdown. route or yeah. force the corner route, you know. And that's that's what's always right. – that's what, I, that's what I thought made Skimbo that much better in Madden 17. 17 but in the beginning of the route. year, in the beginning – or the middle of the year, he was just Z-spot down the field. I'm looking 100 <laughs> yards down the field. I'm trying to just throw the Z-spot route. But then once he – once he went to where he just do the flat route, do the flat route, got right. his six yards, seven yards, it really opened up bunch to another level, you know. And that's and it's crazy that Skimbo plays the way he does now, where Travis Kelsey blocks every time. Because yeah. most yeah. of these kids I see playing, they use the hell out of the tight end. Yeah. And this is two years in a row where Skimbo really has not used his tight end really at all. And it's pretty much the biggest difference between him. And that was a crazy catch that by Connolly there. To yeah, I was up. definitely – 
I was definitely upset right there because I went straight there. I had his zone there. It was two people on one, and he ended up coming down with the ball. I, I, I you know, th- I think that was a bi- that was obviously a big play because I run the same defense and maybe holding mm-hmm. a three. But now we're at a tight game, seven seven. Yeah, for sure, it's definitely. Anytime you get a anytime you get a touchdown catch when you're already like around the ten yard line or in, that's a big play. Yeah, whether it's first down, third down, whatever it may be. Yeah, I mean, ice ice played really good this game on offense for sure. Yeah, that's what I'm saying about. I mean, ice if he was anywhere else in the bracket could have made the final eight or the final four. You know, especially based on how he played this game. Yeah. You know, so sometimes you just how he played this the luck game, of the draw, absolutely. Really. Yeah. But like, then he played against like Crush and Crush blew him out in group stage. Yeah. Yes. Um, so you never know. I think that's really what separates a lot of the top players of people like that is how 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 can you put it together every game, not just have one game and yeah. you can go on runs of putting in multiple games like this together. And I think that's his next step. Now he's at this like I think he really is like he shows he's at this elite level. It's just how often can he maintain this level? That's where it comes down to for him. Now you see the cover two every play pretty much, and that's what I would assume if someone's running nickel blitz. Yeah, you're pretty much just. Like I said, you just alternate between curl flat and pass sale pretty much every play. It depends. Play. It depends if you can stop pass sale. Uh, I don't want to throw in everything, actually. No, you don't have to. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I don't want to talk too much. Uh, yeah, I, I, there's definitely a process to it. Yeah. And there's the, the streak down the middle that won me $25,000 was a – and you, you've been playing versus me forever. How how long have I thrown that? I, I, I want to show the people what Dub that Debbie did against this and, and really box this bunch of <laughs> shit because I'm but a lot smarter than these year. little kids. I don't care about this, this year. This, it, I, you've been the I'll same – it's been the year. same offense for years. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't like that last year. Well, last year because the zones were crazy and it was hard to yeah, fit exactly. that. And you know what I mean? You could move to safety right next to the tight end and he would cover the whole damn Dang, field. you really hanging on one game you beat me at? I just, it, was just a, it was just a That's brilliant funny, game plan. Bro. Now, That's I'm really going to bring up the – see, now I didn't want to bring up this game plan, but now to. I'm going to have to bring up this you game plan. You're going to say, you know, W's really a genius. You know, this is why – see, I'm not – I'll be honest with you. trying to live in the past. I don't think I could ever win one of these where he won like eight games in a row because I, I told him about Ben I I would wind up doing something stupid or I'd have a bad game there's no way for me to stay like this like locked in or I would go to the crowd start messing with somebody and yeah. joking with somebody and come into the next game and just just <laughs> blow it you know I don't have the patience to sit here I'll say and, this know, about like this game though um, and Kid pointed this out I always people put Tyreek in the slot I always put Tyreek on uh, the far outside on the bunch every time why um because he's he you can't cross man him you and you can't cross man walk the pat self post anyways like that's just a you really can't cross man it. so it that can be anybody really. yeah that can be anybody it's, it can be anyone and you can cross man and then i hit the wheel and that's another reason is for when i do that and i notice they're put in their claw flat in a quarter that he's really gonna get busy on that and uh but like, yeah, you can't really cross man Tyree Kill. Like he'll go right by him on the cross man, like a motion drag. He'll just that 100 speed goes right by him, and then you got that with the Pat Self. So that's why I was always putting Tyreek there was for that, and then the motion fade. Yeah, see, I mean, listen, it was a problem. I'm gonna show you the box for in a minute. You wanna box. show me? Yeah, it's still the box for Skimbo. It's still, yeah. There we go. It's Cover a- two. I think, I think what I'm thinking here is. Since we're down the red zone, he's going to put that safety in a quarter or whatever it's called. Mm-hmm. So I had a motion fade. Try it. Yeah. And he ended up manning it. It was what I thought it was, but he ended up manning up the the motion. So that wasn't there. And I think I did that a couple more times. And I believe I settled for three this drive. Yeah, this one time. Sometimes Skimbo offense looks like the ugliest thing in the whole world. <laughs> right. It's but really it's, just like a yeah. guessing game. Like, it really is. And then, like, if it's not there, I'm willing to run away and just throw, get rid of it. I don't want to take a sack. If, that, uh, like it's mm-hmm. like in, in pickup games when pe- people see me play pickup games like i'll force something like i'll just do it just to see what's there yeah. but in games like this it, as soon as i see the reads won't ever be there i'm gone i'm just throwing away and let's go to the next down yeah say so me i would try some dumb you shit. Would try yeah something. i would I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i would try to run and spin with Mahomes or something and just yeah yeah i think right here i'm looking for two streaks a slot streak a tight end streak trying to pass lead one of them and i saw none of them were there and i just said yeah we're gonna take our three so i feel like this was it, it looks like a horrible little possession once you got to the 20 yard line yeah it was just a guessing game going for the touchdown and I, I did guess right like i said he just on the first down he did a 
a man up on Tyree Kill, and if he didn't man him up, I would have had the pass lead to the outside for a touchdown, and that was just good defense for him. He hasn't done it all term game, and I don't think he, I don't think he did it in any other part of the game. He just did it right there, and I had to settle for three. Man, I'll tell you, he came out in regular defense on the field goal. If I watch any of these games, man, I'm at least coming out and making it look like I'm trying to block it. So hopefully maybe you try for a perfect a kick. Or you, coming you know out regular defense. And I do that a lot too when I'm playing regular games or whatever. But yeah. it, it, the way it is now where you try to force people to get a perfect, they might mess around and miss a kick because then Master miss a kick versus you might to change yes, the did. game. Yeah. Yes, oh, did. my God. Yeah, it yes, definitely did. changed a lot at of At least because I, I know as a man player how relaxing it is in a field goal when they come out in regular defense. Yeah. It's like, yeah. oh, thank God. I don't know. I've been I've been known to fake some field goals in my time. Oh, so so I'm gonna do one <laughs> fake now. No, no, everybody gotta be afraid one of this fake. Goal. I've done multiple fakes. Uh, I remember one when I told him don't do that dumb shit. I was like, why don't do that dumb shit? Don't do it. Don't I do told it. you I work. was. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Here we go. Just no pressure all day. He's gonna find someone. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Then them boys. Like, Everything was back though, and it was like. I'm just trying to take away your first two reads, and hopefully something comes in, but nothing does, and he hits his third read going across the middle. Uh, shoot. It's just really the same stuff. I'm just playing basic defense, seeing, seeing if he'll try. Like, that last play, he got cute, and, yeah, you, you know, yep. if you I had any sack. heat at all, I, this drive would have been probably dead how I play, and... But, uh, yeah, I'm just continuing to play safe right here. I don't want to give up a bomb. I, like, I haven't played ice and seen ice play in a long time, so I needed to see what kind of player he was. And he wanted to force stuff, but I, honestly, I was super impressed with him this game. He reminded me of the little man finals, just taking what was there. And yeah. it's, uh, it's it's really just little stuff like that that, that separates you. Now, this had to be West Coast because of deep corner. Right? West Coast, yeah. 100% it's West Coast. And there's a bag. I think he was throwing a pick there. <laughs> I really do think he was throwing, 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 throwing to the hard flat. I, I, I think he was throwing, throwing nothing was open. Like nothing yeah, I was about to say, who was he throwing to? <laughs> well, I do that a yeah. lot. Sometimes, you know, I'm going to press a button just to hope I get hit and it goes on ground. <laughs> right. From Madden two years ago, I believe. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm definitely going to press a button, hope that shit hits the ground and I get incomplete. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <man. clears throat> yeah, but now you got three minutes and you have to score some points. Because you got to kick the ball off to start the second half. Yeah, obviously when it's, I think me and Problem are a lot alike, and it's completely differently. It's just like because he does it through running really, and I do it through passing. Right now I'm thinking I'm taking all this clock, and we're going into the second half. I did that in every one of my games. I feel like just my clock management was really, really good. The little man finals at the end of that half. Uh, I think I did throw a pick though here, so I guess this game was my worst one. But everything else, like my clock management, was on point. So right now, I'm just thinking I got to take away this whole entire quarter. Going the second half, either up three or up seven. No, it's easier with the 40 second play clock. It changes the game really. No, oh, it's easy the clock with the 40 seconds. Yes, so yes, it see is. to me right here, if I'm doing that, I'm I'm almost automatically running the ball here just to ensure my two minute warning right here. Nah, well, so running the ball here. Yeah, just because I'm guarantee I'm going to minute warning. I want to ran that well, thing past the 50 angle. I've either. always had a drag on the field, so I mean I've been hitting my drags a lot, so that's pretty much my run. Yeah, for sure. Honestly, well, yeah, that's a run. Yeah. Yeah, but now you're like guaranteed to go to the two minute warning, and now the, pretty much the whole half is gone. Yeah, the right? whole half is over. But yeah, you got to realize nickel a, a base versus nickel normal is a waste, so I, I'm not gonna waste the play just to go two minute warning, have a second and ten. I don't think that's very smart, yeah, honestly. For sure. And here I put the controller down, and with six seconds, I pick up the controller and watch Ice go crazy. I remember doing this too. Oh, you scummed him? <laughs> I, I, try, I tried to act like I was about to snap it, just watch him. He keeps looking at me. And then, like, with six seconds, I just pick it up real quick. Wow, what a scumbag. And he looks, and he gets on his guy <laughs> starts moving. Jeez. <laughs> wow. Bro, I had to do it to him. It's like, I'm dead serious. And, like, in competition, I had to, like, do something to Ice just because that's my dude. Wow. So I come out. I don't want to give up all my stuff here. I believe I call a timeout. I think you know why I come out in this, right? No. Um, yeah, uh, I, mean, I, I know what you're thinking. Uh, I, I might have done oh, that too, though. Well, well, you know, uh, I had to see if he had sneak D, I yeah. guess, right there. But you know why, too. Norm. Yeah, I yeah know, it's second though. down. You know <clears> what I, why I do that stuff right there. That's next level stuff. I ain't going to get into it. 
No, this was wild to me. Yeah. What? I just always think you run the ball. Oh, and I have to. Third yeah. and inches. I mean, like I said, I only got three yards there, but, you know, I'll take it. No, no, you're switching Tyreek Hill back to the other side. Yep. See, that's some that's stuff like that. I wouldn't like. Want to see, do I play. think right here is where I throw the pick. I see Barry got really brought down in the box. I feel like I can get this fade off on the motion fade. And yeah, I believe this is it. Yeah, this and is his it. corner did a little bump in. Yeah, I should have white caught that. I should have white caught that and cut in front. But I mean, that's uh, Eric Barry. You know, he makes plays like that. That was unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, just. Just seeing it, uh, and you see in other games I've played, I've gotten touchdowns off all those, and, but Barry, Barry just made a hell of a play, really. Yeah, but now he feels like shooting. I'm going to get my points right here, and then I get the ball. Get I get to double get the dip ball. the chip. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I really don't understand how he did what he did on this play right here. <laughs> I have, I've have had no one do this to me coming into the tournament. He hits me with this, and I'm, and I'm grateful he went out of bounds. Oh, yeah, that was a super dot. Well, you got real frisky with Barry, too. You brought him. No, I've been putting him in yeah. the box the whole the whole game. Every All game I've been putting him in the box because I've never seen someone do a fade on that side. I've seen the short side fade, but I haven't seen the long side fade. And but, and it, this, and, but at the end of the day, he went out of bounds, and first and going to eight is tough. It really oh, is. That, well, that's why I said. Yeah, well, he I, went I out of bounds. So. At the eight was and, fine. And really, that exactly. wasn't a bad game. I feel like you, you win inside the 10 on first and second down, man. That just determines your play call and where you go from there. Yeah. But then he got to the three-yard line, so I'm, like, kind of panicking. I'm like, does he have a run, a really good run play or something for, like, down here? And then I think on second down, I end up blowing it up. Yeah. No, I mean, shoot, yeah, he blew that up. Yeah, so on third down, I'm still oh, playing the run. Play. So I'm going to man up a safety, but I'm going to man up Kelsey. Because so I know how this shot. route, I saw, I saw him a play, I saw a play that he likes to throw the corner route with Kelsey in the red zone or he'll run dive. So mm -hmm. my manned up safety will be on Kelsey. So I'll stop the run and he'll be manned up on Kelsey For sure. coming into this play. Because I saw him play yesterday, the day, literally the day before. I watched him play and I saw that's what he did. It's like that's what's Jeez. the difference. Like I had no video on that. It was just I literally watched him play like one quarter. And I noticed that's why he didn't. I remembered it going into that right there. Yeah, and uh, honestly, I man up people all the time down there just because not not for that reason, but because like you said, they play the run so good when they're manned yeah. up. And more yeah. often than not, and the only reason I would man up Kelsey is just for that high ball. It's not that a specific play, but most of the time I man up the outside receiver. Right. Man, exactly. Know? Got to man up Kelsey because he's the only one to really be a threat down there. And he didn't even really look at the field right there. He was throwing that pass no matter what, no matter really. What. See, you won't force it. This is where people lose games more than they win games, I think. You know, turn All right, too right. And I know that, and I realize the situation. I mean, obviously, I want to force here, and I never did because I only had one timeout, but I'm definitely looking for the plays. And there will be a situation that happens on third down. I realize something, and we'll talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, I threw that, even though I feel like if I maybe make a miss on a spin there and I do a juke on the corner because the yeah. CPU you couldn't click on, it could be gone. So yeah. I felt like just getting rid of my timeout right there. Oh, you have to, because you can control what happens the next couple of plays. You can't stop the clock there any other way, you know? Yeah. I probably would have burned it. Oh, uh, here comes the motion over. I haven't ran this all tournament. Looking for R1 or B, but I ended up gotten shedded. I, I would have had B, too. Would have definitely had the motion will, but... I got shed in. So here's a third and three. If I throw an incompletion, I'm probably punting. So he gets the ball with three timeouts. So this is when I go back to the regular offense, looking for a drag or a post route right here, and just making sure this has to be a first down play. Like, don't worry about getting chunks. Worry about getting a first down here. Because yeah, if you don't, so you don't get has, a ball back. Yeah. He, yeah, he has three timeouts and probably 20, 20, 20, 25 seconds again, field goal range. So this is a first down call right here. Look at Kelsey just blocking the lock. <laughs> Yeah, Kelsey did good. So now now I want to hurry it up. I'm looking maybe for – I think I call curl flat here to see if I catch him sleeping, obviously. Oh, for sure. Either that or verticals. So I can't – yeah, verticals. He manned up the wheel. Nothing there. Don't want to throw a pick. Get rid of it. Yeah, that's the half. <clears throat> yep, half over. Well, how I looked at it, I think, I don't know if I did this, I felt like I have one more play. I can throw the corner route and get out of bounds with one second, kick a field goal, and if he picks it, I'm cool with it because he won't be in field goal range. And if he runs it For back, 
I hope get tackled. So right here, I'm just literally, literally looking for the corner out, but I got shedded. Yeah. I mean, ice is feeling. I'm feeling good about my ice right now. Oh yeah, definitely. Get, and it gets small. Get a ball. I definitely feel good about my ice. So I've been playing safe this whole game, and then finally I realized I'm down three. I got to play. A lot of people don't consider this bit. aggressive. Aggressive, but I consider this aggressive. This is where I got to start mixing in hard flats on the outside because he's he's shown me that he's willing to take his dump down and get five, six yards, sometimes even more, just mm -hmm. the truck. So right here, I know I'm down. It's not like I'm in control. He's in control. So I want to put a little bit more pressure on him. So I'll be calling a couple more hard flats. Yeah, I'm starting to think the way I watch Bunch now. That cloud flat, <laughs> really, all it does is make him hold the ball a little bit longer, really. Yeah. It doesn't cover anything on the Bunch side. It doesn't cover and anything I, on the side. And he's shown me he doesn't run the mesh post a lot. So I started lurking that left side. And this is where he mixes it up, even though – and then he – I don't see this is what separates ice. You've been doing good this whole game. You you've never called that play and he goes to that. It just doesn't make sense to me. Oh. So now we're back to cloud flat because it's second and ten and You're cool you know, with a third helping. and five. I'm cool with a third and six and then I'll do it again and then like I said, he mixes up his play call. I, I, I just don't understand what he's thinking here. <laughs> I mean, he's been killing me with the tight end flat. Yeah, those and he just plays. He uh, got cute, literally two plays in a row. Yeah, well, he didn't. They didn't block right there. If Kelsey blocked, he had the wheel route to his running back for a big play. Yeah, but still, he's. I mean, he's not looking for a dump down. He's looking for a big play. For sure. And he calls this play, and that's bagged. Oh, yeah, he got super bagged. Up. Yeah, I mean, he's forced to do something he doesn't want to do on a third and long, and I got to stop, and now I get the ball. I feel like that really cost him a game. He wanted to get two, two plays in a row instead of just taking what was there all game. Yeah. You got to know you're not going to change the defense up that much. <laughs> you no, know? I was going to get a little bit aggressive. Like I said, just a little bit aggressive, putting some hard flats out there on the outside. That was literally – and just take away some stuff. But, yeah, he, he made it easy on me. I mean, he mixed up his play call for no reason. So now, I mean, now, now Ice is like, oh shit, I just had the game. This is like the emotions of a Madden game that people don't <laughs> understand. Like, you were just feeling, I mean, literally three minutes ago, you were feeling like the man. Now you're, you know, your heart beating a little more. Yeah. And he almost gave me up a touchdown. I'll tell you, Eric Berry played out of his mind for him. I mean, a lot of safeties and regs, I've thrown that against. They break to the outside, and that's a streak touchdown. His Eric Berry went over there and just broke it up. Was that a streak that play? Yeah. Streak with a fade. will route. Okay. Oh, that time he switched his cover. He ain't like that. He went to cover three. <laughs> that cover three <laughs> showed that play. He ain't yeah. like that. So now the game's tied. You are. That's how I feel when I play. I'm like, I'm guaranteed the game right. is tied right now. Just can't turn the ball over. Right, and the clock's going to go by quick because the whole entire Excel clock glitch is going on right now. Just went to 20 seconds as soon as I snapped it. That's wild. Dump down. Like I said, when it comes to tournament time, I'm going to take my dump down if it's there. You know, I'm not going to try to stretch it out like a leaderboard game. So I just wore out this little this little drag. That's wild that it really excelled like this. Mm-hmm. I noticed that, too. That's when I knew I needed seven here. Like, I had to get seven here is how yeah, I felt. Yeah, because really you're only going to get one more possession, really, if he plays it right. And I call it on tilt. Jeez. I called it an on tilt. I, call, I called an on tilt fourth down this drive, too. Oh, when you're, <laughs> just when, did you know huddle? Just, uh, I don't know. Just to settle for three. No, I didn't know huddle, though. Oh, I think, yeah, and then you go in there and get three anyway. Jesus. Yeah, I got stuffed. Might have had the streak there. Again, it's the whole entire guessing game. He's it's like good. He's manning it. It's like game. second time in a row. It's like, no, he's only manned up the motion guy two times. Like, and look. It's been all your face. What's crazy is he just went and did two drags in the middle of the field, got his yards, and as soon as he got to the 20, yep, everybody street. on the street. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's but it, it was there. It was going to be there. Well, you try to fit that. Uh, it's just because you don't have to lurk the the, the post route because it's, the field's shorter. Yeah. Skimble has no baby dots, dude. No. 
Oh, people don't realize Skidmore really don't like making reads, dude. He want to make his reads 40 yards down the field. Uh -oh. We'll find some. Uh-oh. Did circle. you raise no huddle? No, he didn't raise no huddle. No, it was quick, though. It was a quick. It was no <laughs> thing. We're going for it. Did you base him but up here? This is the offline stuff. This is offline. I want to show that I come out in Pat Cell and audible to quick base, obviously. But I go into it. Like, it sounds simple, right? And he probably knew I was running base. But I come out. I show him that my three plays on screen are all pass plays. So you got to look at that. But I'm calling base every time. Yeah, that's that's the offline factor to it. You can't see that online, but that's just kind of my thought process is why I didn't know huddle. And I wanted to show him I was coming out maybe in a pass play. You know, I don't think it fooled him at all, but that's just part of that. Now, see, it's the most wild. To show you looking on the screen now, Gene. When you played, it was different because like they actually they had quick adjustments. You had right. to move on every player to, on yeah. defense, so you had a, way more of an idea than the Skimble. Skimble just he'd be looking at all that shit. And there, there goes your little low ball to your boy. Yeah. Hemingway. Yeah, yeah I've got a first down. He still ain't got the out of this? Yeah, I know, right? That's what I know. I just – And this is where I gotta work on. If Kareem, Hunt, if Kareem Hunt wasn't kicking chicks on the ground, Kareem my man Hunt Kareem would, Hunt yeah. might have fought for him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is a Kareem Hunt. But this is like – you have to show me you have – that should have been a touchdown. That should have been a touchdown. I think, yeah. And yeah. but the thing, a lot of times when I put my running back on aggressive, especially goal line, they want to hug the offensive lineman and do that, you know, do the Ezekiel Elliott or the Le'Veon Bell wait and be patient shit. Yeah. Like just running the hole right there. Yeah. Uh, and I got stalled out, and <sighs> I'm not going to be on rage here. I'm going to take my three. Because it's just too hard. And that's yeah. I mean we had talked about this a couple of weeks ago. These kids with the cute little nickel defense against goal line, that they that, have it. That's better than our our goal line. They have defense. it. It's better than goal line. They, they have it. They have defense. They have toss D. And it's not salary cap where the toss is better because those bad players yeah. are out there. This they're is fast teams people. Where those dudes out there on the toss will get out there and make a play. So I know toss and regular teams is not good out of goal line. And and this is and and one thing about the goal line or the nickel does it does invite you to try a quarterback sneak, yeah. like please oh, it doesn't it's, look it's, good it, it looks like I could score on this so you're kind of wasting it's a down it's inviting it's definitely it's definitely an invitation <laughs> to my gangster nation. See now, yeah. but now I, I I'm still feeling pretty good, but this is a tough drive, man, because you are worried about the clock. You want to take the whole yeah. game, but you also need to score. If I'm ice, yeah, so. if I'm ice, the game is over. Like this is this, in my mind, yeah. this, this is over. He is, and he's thinking that. He throws a nice little high point dot. Wait, oh, he's back. sipping his water on you? Like, oh, man. Yeah, two more plays. We had the two-minute warning. This yeah. game, this yeah. game yeah, I'm not even. No, this was his last drive. He knew this was his last drive, too. Yeah. He sipped the water on you. He's rocking in the chair. He's feeling, this is all false bravado. He's yeah. nervous as yeah, shit. He's definitely nervous. Yes. But... Yeah. No, definitely. I'm definitely throwing some hard flats out there now. <laughs> You know, it's just it's been a weird game. Oh, because now you have to go for the gusto to make sure you had the ball back. Yeah, yeah, I can't let him clock me, so I'm gonna let him get maybe a big play on me, and then, you know, for some reason my DN on a draw a, and that's decides a huge to get big play. Yeah, just huge. never see that animation ever, and now I'm back in my cloud. Yeah, that's a huge salute because you're just like that's like one like I just said. I just want to run to keep the clock running. I don't care if I get one or two yards. I damn sure don't want to lose four yeah, though, because that changes huge. everything. Now he's not clocking no more. Yeah. Come on. No, he's not sipping his water anymore. Nope. I'm giving him the tight end route. My dude makes a nice play, but, you know, he ended up getting he's us some trucks for about six. three extra yards. Yeah. Three extra yards because of a truck. Could be third and 11. It's a third and eight. And I, like I said, I coming out in that same defense. And uh, this was the story of the tournament for me, honestly. I feel like uh, what's about to happen this play. Story of the tournament? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, you ain't like that. You just backed Eric Berry up for that yeah. fade. Mm -hmm. It wasn't given that. After what he showed me. What after he showed me, but then this happens. Overthrow. Overthrow. It was just it was the story of the game. Uh, I'll say this because they're not in ice. I mean, the biggest play of the game. He has a dude open. He didn't have to high point it, but my user is kind of airy, so he does. And it wasn't just like a high point overthrow. It was an overthrow for a pick. Yeah. I played... I played Prodigy. His two picks he threw to me in the first half, high points. They weren't just overthrows. They were for picks. Kid, or, uh, Drini, his first pick of the game was a dude open. He high points, overthrow for a pick. 
I just feel like every time I had a high point, they threw a high point over through, I really did get a pick every time. And I feel like that, that was the biggest story for me all tournament. Yeah, shoot. But you still got to go get some yards here. Yeah, I got to. You got some shed. I had the post route. I had to run away. I, oh, yeah, this was bad by me. So, no, 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 no. That second down was it. You know I throw that read all the time. And my dude did the give up animation on the click on inside, so it made it look bad. Yeah. But, that's how I felt like you just slanted B right there, too. You didn't put him on a Yeah, drag. I wanted to quick snap him. I wanted to quick snap him, and I had it. But So this right here, I definitely should have wide caught and cut it in front, but he ended up hitting me in the mouth. Ooh, yeah, Ooh, but that's that just slant cool. to get the first down. That's slant, and I was going to spin. I didn't want to wide catch it. And then right here, this is when I know the Madden gods. Are on my side. Well, talk talk about going for this. Yeah, talk about going for it because you didn't even think about it. Yeah, I was about to ask like, what what, what made you not even think about it? Go for it. Are we clicking pause or you want to go? Yeah, through? yeah let's yeah, pause. Talk about going for this. Uh, like, yeah, what, yeah. What, all right, because I I know uh, I would probably go for this. Yeah, what? Yeah, what? Why would you go for this? What What, what was you thinking? <laughs> I'm thinking if I don't go for it, he gets one first down. The game's over with a 40 second clock. Uh, I just. I don't know. He's played pretty. I feel like he's played really good on offense this whole tournament or this whole game. Versus me. Mm -hmm. His only his his pick was an overthrow dot, right? So I kind of felt like he was playing really good, and I had to go for it. I really do feel like this was the game. I feel like if I didn't get it, whether I punt it or I didn't get it, I felt like the game was over. You didn't feel as, won. You didn't feel as though you could stop him. You feel like he was playing good on offense. I, exactly, and his adjustments right here were unbelievable. And I'll tell me when you click play. Yeah, but I feel like from here, you could punt him to the 20-yard line. You yeah, that's what I'm saying. I like... 15 yard line. Yeah, but he has three timeouts, so he can still run his normal yeah, office. He doesn't time. have to press at all. Man, I'm in my in my mind, I'm punting or I'm running to the nine. <laughs> and I tell people I run I'm, to the I'm nine, running to the nine. But they don't listen to me. They think I'm, I'm crazy. Either for or. I would, I would, I, but I feel like if you give him the ball in the 30, that's borderline nine type areas. No, nah, he yeah. gets one first down, game over. Oh, it's 40 seconds. Over, yeah, I'm like, I'm running to the nine or I'm punting. I, oh, oh y'all talking about just running backwards? Yeah, running nine, backwards yeah. to the nine. And yeah, not on, not on a fourth and 10. Maybe like a fourth and 20. Yeah, I got fourth like and 10 because you can still get you can still this get This is you. very manageable. And like I said, before we click play, this is like when I know the Madden gods were on my side. The cloud flat on a wheel route will bump him and ride him for 30 yards. Yeah. I had, for some reason, versus a cloud flat, my wheel route had a free release, and then I end up mossing and burying. But, but like, see, I, talk about why, because you didn't do this all game, really, the wheel route. Like, I seen you do two <laughs> fades, you do, uh, you obviously, pass sale, but why do we go streak wheel route? What was the thoughts in this? Uh, <laughs> Because he's been getting cute with a quarter over there, and if he didn't and he had a cloud flat, I, I know since the past the wheel route's more open. Mm -hmm. And so it was really just going to be, if I didn't get it, then I didn't. But if I throw an incompletion, it's a punt. That's kind of at the 50. So that's, it really was just a high risk, a high risk play. You know, it so really from was. the jump you're looking for, what you hit earlier in the game was just a quick I'm pass. Looking for a streak. I'm looking for a streak. I'm looking for the streak first. Okay. And then, I'm, and then once I see the cloud, I look for the cloud first. Once I see the cloud, I look for a streak. It was bagged by his user. Then I'm looking for the dra the slant because I know the slant can give me 10 yards. And he puts his left safety in a hook zone, so that takes it away. Okay. And then his user was there. So literally after that, all I had was the will. All right, I'm about to press play. Gotcha. Go ahead. All right. So I'm going to go to the will. Motion snap. He got Jesus. a free release. He got a free release. Yeah. And I played this. I've ran a bunch for how long now? And this year for all year and i know cloud flats are supposed to ride them down the field and like bump them in for some reason tyreek had a free release and i still don't understand why <laughs> but i saw that and threw it immediately then is eric berry like i don't know if he clicked on and went for a pick i don't know if he went for the hist i might have went for the rb strip right there that's me personally if i'm that far away i'm yeah. i mean the rb strip has really took the hit stick out of the game for me personally yeah so i probably would have been jamming rb to try to go ahead and strip you right there i don't it looked like he froze and got caught in between what he wanted i mean it's a big he's young it's a big moment i mean you know you knows what's going through his head right there you know mm -hmm. no but now he's got a chance i mean shoot oh yeah and then now we're back in the cloud you know we're just calling it mm -hmm. safe defense again no yeah. bombs and let's see what he does yeah but this is the hardest thing to do as a man uh, I don't know. 
And, and I started lurking the tight end side. It looked like I was acting like I was taking away the drag, and then I was coming back because I know it's like I was so uh, versus West Coast. I normally lurk on the opposite side for the mesh post, but how he was playing, I knew I had to lurk on that side for like the first down. He's definitely now I'm back on the, to be in West Coast. Back on the he mesh damn post. sure hasn't ran mesh post a lot. No, he has. Oh, he oh, just hit his tight end. He, no, he's hit his tight end route so many okay. times you don't even notice. Mm hmm. And then right there, I go back in that defense and lurk on that side for it, and I had it. He ran mesh post, and I would have had it. That's why he threw his drag. That's looking dark for the young ice man. Oh, don't worry. He's going to get some help. Oh, he got some help. No, oh, he go got some help. Blitzing six people. Oh, that's a dot. Ooh. I like it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it don't stop there. <laughs> deserved. That was deserved. <laughs> Absolutely. That no, that's why one. I wasn't tripping. No, no. If you watch my reaction, I didn't flip like some people. Like I'm like, you can't because right, you can't trip. Because if you flip out, it's yeah. going to stop you from playing good defense from here on out. Exactly. Oh Jesus. Oh no. <laughs> and this is where I tell you, I told W or someone before the tournament, the two dudes, uh, Murray and Lucas, they're like five eleven. I felt like they got tea bag on a lot on my user, and it happened right Lucas. there. Did he lob that? Oh, he well, because he got scared. He panicked. He, he, he hit the wrong button. Oh, man. Well, he didn't hit the wrong button. He got lurked. Oh, yeah, he... But that was, I felt like that was an easy read. I would have threw it running back there, and I'm not even good. He just made a bad play there. But he's alive. Got to keep fighting. Yeah. Step up a I, little and, bit. I, and I got keep playing. Deep. Yeah, for real yeah. sure. I mean, even though he caught those two crazy passes, he's still, uh, he's still yeah. in the Stop toughest spot all. to score yeah. right now. Like, dude. You know how it is being top players. You can't trip. You got to just keep playing. Yep. For sure, everybody done had the worst shit happen to him. So we never gonna deep blue this this linebacker, huh? Chill, dumb. <laughs> like, like, never. I, I'm just thinking about what I would be doing right now in the game situation. Like I, he, me personally, he'd be in the deep blue, and I'd say all, go ahead and do those tricks. All tournament, all tournament, just nah, forget the deep. Blue. Yeah, that's why I put them. I, no, I might do it right here. Now that you say it, but it's a third and two. I don't know how aggressive I got here. I might have put them in. Right here. But the good thing about this game, no, I, no, I, no, I'm you blitzing. Can, you can change your safeties too. Mm. Yeah, that was a die right there. He got, oh, you know what? I mean, shoot, this is like, you know, no yeah, about? this got oh. me feeling like man bull right here. This is what I was living through. Shit, like, and now geez. I'm in my red zone. I'm in my red zone defense now. I mean, so, dude, what play was this here, kid? Jeez, a streak with a verticals. No, I'm talking about yeah. like his tight end and the other guy. Oh, I don't know, but Barry, he had his, he, Barry didn't get out there. I mean, yeah, he, was, he throws he the high a, point right. Yeah, he looked a little over. Yeah, he had a little window. I don't know if he catches it because my dudes are kind of there and then we might hit it out, but that's See, why I, I moved, my, moved him out now. There you go. I say I wouldn't like bunch on the short side here because I want to try to hit that fade again, really. And, and I moved Barry outside just because of what he just did. I mean, your middle linebacker has to be. Nope, he's still in the oh, hook. He's not going to put him in blue. Chill. I don't. I don't need what goes. I'm not gonna even say what goes through my head. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, he's wild. He and I dive. Wild. I dive. <laughs> I dive. Get him in bell. Wow. Like, this game was closer than I thought. Jeez. Yes. The high point. I know it was hit, close, but, but I forgot it like really came down to the come down. Yeah. No, I can't lie. My right. D, my DN might be on Kelsey right here. Nah, I'm, I, have a, I have a system that I run with, system. and I'm running my system right now. You running your system? <laughs> no, he got wild doing that. I don't like it. I think you're good. If I'm on offense, you're getting Kelsey like four times. Why wouldn't you? That's not. Oh. And that's the game. That, that, Jeez. That not good game for the little, the little skimbo. <laughs> yeah, that's my son. The potty mouth skimbo. He's got to hit the tanning bed, but that's my son. Yeah, he don't be on the boat all day. You know, he don't live the, like, the yeah, lavish yeah. lifestyle of the skim, you know what I'm saying? He, he yeah, I'm about to fly him down here for the summer. <laughs> Baby steps. Baby steps for the, for the little skim, man. But that, like I've said a thousand times, that was your toughest game. Absolutely. By it, far. It, it, really, it really was because of an overthrow open pick right to Barry. I mean, yeah. I mean, he would have had it. It's still clocking, right? There was like two minutes. He would have gone to the two-minute warning at the 50. And I, yeah. I mean, and I mean, it just that was the story of the tournament. I've had I had like five picks in my last four games, all on high points. All right, put this little man game on. Obviously, because the stream died, it, we Compton got it at I'm at 2:48 on the clock. It's the, he just scored again to tie the game. 
You got that game? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm I'm already here. I'm I'm played. They're talking to me right now. And we're like, what are you talking about? Uh, I'm talking about on stream. There, remember the guy was talking to me. I'll oh, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm at like one, four, one fifty one. Some. It's like he's just kicking extra point. Oh wait, you're on one fifty on the little man game. Yeah, he's kicking an extra point. I see the extra point going through the crossbar. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm in here. All right, I'm pressing play. Yeah. Yeah, so obviously this is when the stream went down, which we're not going to talk about uh, yeah. the stream going down because that could happen to anybody. It could happen to, you know, whatever it may be. Yeah. But God willing, it's, it, it was rough, especially for what I, you know, and the way my life has been the last four months or whatever, what I think when shit like that happens that was bad, and uh, but you know the stream went out. That anything that could happen to anybody, you know, the Super Bowl, the, yeah. game, the lights went out in the stadium. So you never know what could really happen. So, but right. this is the after it resumed. Trip. But we, but like you said, he did throw a pick already. And at home, you did not know. I had no. No, clue. I didn't know. I, and I, I had. This is I was in Vegas, and this is once I, like when Mike got once he beat Jenny, I was like, right, he gonna win the tournament. Yeah. So I went down there. So I'm like a block away, and this shit went off, and I was I was freaking out because that's how my mind works now. Ever since Jacksonville, when shit like that happens, yeah. especially at the man event, it's like, bro, what happened? You know. But obviously, everybody was cool. The stream just died, and you had and all I hear, I'm getting texts from people. Skimbo got to stop. He already scored. It's 14-7, and I was like, damn, this shit is cooked. Cause personally, I thought every time little man plays Skimbo, he just gets blown. Like he, little man just looks defeated. Nervous. Yeah, he, he looks defeated. Nervous. He looks defeated. No matter who he plays, he looks tough. But when he plays Skimbo, he just looked defeated before the game. And that's like, man, and, and I, I just knew Skimbo was going to win this game. And obviously, it was a lot close. He played a lot better you than thought. I thought he would. Not, not Obviously, he was playing great the whole tournament to make it this far. Yeah. And yeah, Washington well, man played really good he was this playing game. Great. Like, he was yeah. playing great the whole tournament. Yeah, but I knew when he played Skimbo, he was going to though. Down. Terrible on defense, though. His offense was great. His defense was pathetic. Yeah. I mean, and, but that's the skimbo one on one, dude. The number one thing you can't give up the skimbo is this freaking streak up the middle of the field. Hmm. That's like, yeah, that's he, when he when you let him throw the streak. I mean, you're going to be prisoner of everything for pretty much. Yeah, I thought I was like, you know, I've been doing this since the beginning of the game. I thought I was the only one doing it. And then I find out that uh, someone like Problem was doing it out a bunch, and Blocky was doing it out a bunch, and. I found out, I guess a lot of other people were starting to do that. Those little streak is past lead inside. Oh, okay. He rang a berry down in the box. I wonder what. Oh, uh, this is something you did because you did catch him with the fade because he was so worried about the streak to the inside. Yeah. You did. 32, though. Yeah, 32. I definitely. And I got popped. Wow. And I got hit with an ad. Damn, Compton and stuff. Compton getting his money. All right, I'm at 432. Where you at? You just got his stick. Okay. 432. Oh, I got to add two. Pause. <laughs> yeah, Dude. Compton, get your money, man. <laughs> get your money. Yeah, I'm, I'm at 433. Get your money, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to my man Compton. 187 does the easy job. But the time-consuming job of recording these games and then uploading them to YouTube, something I wish EA did a little more properly to give us a proper spotlight and people that want to watch these past broadcast games can easily search them. But Compton gets your money. But anyway, we first in time. How, where are you at? How much time on the... You just threw a playmaker and high ball that went over his head. Okay, yeah. Well, we're on the same thing. All right, cool. Now, that was your first incompletion, but the high ball was an overthrow. You just talked about right. that last game. High balls were overthrows at this event. Yeah, right. And right there, I probably didn't need to, but I was still a little nervous because if he pulls like a top play where he clicks on, just runs backwards on that zone, he picks it, right? Yeah. Like that's next level stuff. So yeah. I'm like giving little man benefit of the doubt right there, thinking he might get glitchy and click on and start running backwards seeing it. Yeah, so you I say, Suffering on first down, you just got to, that's a safe way to throw the ball, really. So 34 seconds, like, you're little man, you're like, don't give up a D player, right? And I understand. Right here, I'm calling, uh, uh, what's it called? Curl flat. Curl flat this close? Yeah, see if I can get to the five-yard line or hit a backside drag. Well, all of it was open. All of it was open, yeah. Well, I probably would have played the same defense. I'm just, uh, if I'm a little man, I'm praying for 17-14 right now. And, and and honestly, me playing right now, like, because my red zone's been kind of bad right here, and seeing how little man's been playing defense, I'm, like, praying he gives me up the streak up the middle right now. Like, I'm literally just praying that I got the streak up the middle and I'll pass lead it. 
bitch. Man, he, I don't know what the hell he did there. Uh, what the Because he didn't blitz you. He did nothing. Yeah. And gave he did nothing. But so open. I'm thinking, yeah. but honestly, he's been giving it to me all game. I'm thinking, like, I need to mix it up. But I'm like, no, we're not mixing it up. Like, he might put him in a quarter. So here comes the guessing game. I'll do a motion fade here. But then I see what I see. And I mean, damn, I don't know why he did it. Jeez, little man. See, I, I, for me, you're getting a middle linebacker in the deep blue because I, honestly, I'm not uh, yeah. even blitzing because I'm you cool. I want because you're going to take three. You know, a man, uh, the way you play, you're not going to force anything right there. I'm going to play safe as hell. I, yeah. it, that's a situation in the game where you cool. Now, I, I, you don't even need to rush yeah. anybody, really. I get ball at half. Like, I'm not going to force it. Like, I'm not forcing anything, like, mm -hmm. right there. Like, you have to play better defense if you're Especially the way he lurked to the outside fade, dude. Like, yeah, if, if I don't, you're gonna I, if you're on a twenty yard line and you fit that fade in between my safety and my corner there, I mean God it. bless your heart. Yeah, you got uh, it. Uh, the only way he would run up there is if what's it called, an inside quarter from the free safety if they, if that, but his adjustment was still a, cover, a two. cover two shell. Yeah. It wasn't an inside quarter, it was a cover two which is supposed to go out there and play it. So he shouldn't have even done that. Yeah, that or you hurt. put your or you put your clock flat in a quarter. <laughs> yeah, but he gave up that and now now that just makes you panic, and I don't want to score. But well, 14 seconds. You know, I'm just not giving up a deep play, and you know, yeah, even then, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna go into this half up seven. That's why I'm I'm like, all right, Skimbo about to win. This is about to be easy. Yeah, the little man about to fold right here. He just want to hit a bomb to Tyreek. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna run backwards, blitz everyone, and be that last line of defense. That's how I've always played Madden. <laughs> Ever since I've been playing, I, I literally run to the goal line, and if you get by everyone, I am that last line of defense. I know. I don't <laughs> care if I'm a little man. I'm calling time out, and I'm chucking something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, the way I've seen or this just game. Or just running. Or just yeah, running. Yeah, something. Running. Yeah, something. you getting something. I, I haven't seen some crazy things stuff chuck all over the place. Let me see. Oh, they showed us these plays that weren't on stream. It happened at 14. 14. <clears throat> no. Yeah. Then they didn't show it. Not they still didn't show highlights. it. No, I'm just saying you caught the the slot streak for two touchdowns at least. No, those were in there though before the stream crashed. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, but Compton doesn't have it. See, if Compton really did his job, he would get the stuff before the stream crash and yeah. then edit it with the stuff yeah. after the stream. <laughs> but you know, Compton, we're work. gonna work on that. Compton, we're gonna work on that going forward here. But now you need points, and if you get points here and take. You know, yeah. three, four I, I minutes on the clock. Sheesh. It's like, unlike uh, the ice game, like, I'm not changing anything. Like, he came out in that second half and wanted to call some few plays like me. I'm. Why would I ever run anything yeah, other right. than Pat Cell right now? Because essentially, like, it's they, the they, same, it no sense. you're kind of in the same position ice was in right now. And then he puts Barry. So, mm -hmm. this is what I was thinking. I'm in so much control. And then he backs him up, right? I was about to fade that B. So, yeah. I think I put him on a wheel route because normally when they run back like that, they're manned up. That's what I thought. I yep. Tyreek. Mm -hmm. So I, I do a wheel route here. That's why it's taking me forever to call a play. So I, I instantly call verticals here. Yeah, I thought he was going to throw one. Ended up being a court. Ended up being a deep blue. So I had it. The Jesus. wheel route instantly. Yeah, that's what I, th I thought. He manned him up too, and that worked out fine. I thought you were still going to yeah. go fade because he was manned up. I thought be the uh, fade and run I always think. I always think with me. I don't think my reads are as good as everyone, but I think my pre-snap reads of seeing what you're doing, I really think I'm the best at that on offense. But yeah, as far as making reads, that. <laughs> he made that obvious as hell. Like, but still, it's just like yeah, little sure. stuff like that. And there's other stuff I'm not going to mention because I don't want to give away anything. And it's just that's just something I've always been, I think, good at. Ooh. Oh man, I really, yeah, I kind of, I don't know. I thought you, I, you watching it now. I thought you would go outside. Because I think that was a yeah. hard flat out there. Jesus. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Was this the play that coming up? Hold up. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, this the oh, play it's coming up. I think up. it's 21, 28, 27 when he throws that. No it, no, it comes right here. I, I thought, it, I, thought I was about to say, I think it's this play. I think it's this I play. It's the drag, wanted, pat, it's the drag to playmaker. Up. I wanted to throw up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, honestly, nah, I was so, I was so cool though, running out of bounds. And when I playmaker, I always just playmaker to playmaker. I saw how bad his user was. I was like, hold up. I was like, <laughs> I might have to try this. <laughs> and then I high pointed it. And here's yeah. a pro tip: I should have just high pointed it without pass lead because when you high point with a pass lead, they overthrow it more. But if you just do a high point without a pass lead, they throw it at a much better consistent rate, just not as high. 
And that's one of those deals I should have just either thrown it away, and if I was going to do a high point, just hold down high point and don't do a pass the lead. <clears throat> as soon as he threw it, I didn't even see the result. I just put my head down like, why? <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> why? was terrible. <laughs> why? That was terrible all around. Like, look, like, look it's just the well, time. Look, it's was, time. Look like, how bad his user was. It doesn't why? matter. It's just time. It's just a terrible pass. He's been, th- he been, he been throwing it away yeah. all, all tournament. Throwing the shit out he the been throwing it away he, all he tournament. Like going that's ball, difficult. <laughs> no, no, that's difficult. Me though, W knows this. Here comes the finals. Yep, <laughs> you know? the finals. He just like, bro. I was like, bro, if he lose this game because of that, because I mean, I me personally, I'd have been cool. Twenty four, fourteen. Of course, I told man. you, and I told you what went through my head as soon as I threw the. Pick. It was there. I. Oh yeah, because all the no, other no, ones no. you got throughout the tournament. I, all I said to myself was, I have picked off five dudes in the last three games off overthrow high point picks. I was like, I was due to have one go against me. Let's lock up now. That's oh, literally yeah, what sure. went through my head. Like I've been getting blessed all tournament. I won't even trip. Like yeah. it is what it is. Let's yeah. just keep playing. Yeah, and this you moving back Eric Berry for that bomb. Because the short side. Yep, yep what exactly. It? But that's what cost you on that yep. play. I mean, obviously well, you got to use or, or went, do something. I even hit R1. I went for a hit stick for some stupid reason, and it made me go into the yeah, dirt. But R1 pretty much does the same thing, too, with that little, like, flail animation if you don't time it the right way. So I, that looks like something that would happen to me where I go for a strip or go for a hit oh, stick. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He just kept running. He didn't spin. Just went right by me. Yeah, I mean, and, that, and right there. But I'm that's like, a no. I hate that it had to happen to me in this situation. You know how that's why I love playing leaderboard games. I mean situational stuff this is a situation that happened and i know next time if i'm doing that i need to lurk on the right side and so i can play that streak for a little bit and then come down and unfortunately he hits me for a touchdown now, not just a big play a touchdown and now, now it's a instead game of being no up reason. 10 points we're back in the game i think i ordered yeah. another beer at this point i was like yo let's go i do it for the stream i do it for the stream <laughs> and Jesus. i made sure to do a little i'll never forget this fumble coming up though because Yep. I knew I recovered it, but little man next to me was out of his seat, yelling, going wild. And I'm like, wait, does he know something I don't? Does he have the ball right now? Like, it happens on this play. Because momentum's a bitch, man. It really is. Yep. And as soon as that fumble happened, I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. That was definitely a wild ass. The momentum's a bitch. And I, I've always felt like, man, Madden will – help you out if you play smart yeah. this one just, is it the opposite of play smart right now <laughs> and, yeah and i've always well, felt like I, you I, make no, the right rules one, or help you out i made one yeah i made one awful decision and and it killed me right like yeah, i made a terrible all it takes. read and, that's all it takes and yeah but i i wasn't still i got a pick and i'm in a position to win it but that fumble would have broke my heart i know that but oh, that at the end of the day it would have been my fault it would have been my fault yeah. though Obviously, I've always Ooh. accepted it. And W knows that too. I would have accepted it, took it to the chin. It is what it is. I fucked up. Yeah, for sure. But now you got the game. I mean, a little right. bit, honestly, I'll... if he played a lick of defense the way he was playing a lick. offense. Just a too. lick. Just a lick of defense, he might win this game. Even if he just played safe or made you work a little more, you know, that's all. Right. I, I, all I had to do was call uh, Pat Sell all game. Oh, wow. I, don't see, I don't see no adjustments on defense at all. Like, I don't see. No, there's none. Like, I don't see nothing different. It's like No, there's none. There's none. There's literally none. I'm going to take the streak, and then I'm going to play a high-low game. This is my head-to-head game right now. This, <laughs> <laughs> this might be my second uh, worst offensive call besides the pick right here. Was uh, Why would, on earth would I run base here after how he's playing uh, defense? Do <clears> I call base here? I can't remember. It, normally, I call base on second and inches. Let's see. No, I pass the ball. Never mind. Let's get ball. Throw Same it, thing. Spin. Wide open. Same spin. Thing. Let's go. It's- same thing, same thing. Yeah, I mean, I would understand the same thing if he was gonna switch it up in the red zone, but he wasn't switching up in the red zone either. <laughs> he just <laughs> playing the same exactly. thing. Just now here, I don't. Oh. I, I won't even cover the uh... right here because my offense. I know how cover two works. I can get Pat, I can get a curl flat in here to the corner route if he doesn't guard it. Like I know that and how. I, and I know Pat Sell right here, though. I know the post route. And I, and I, and I keep thinking he's going to take away the streak, right? And he's bringing yeah. the safety way in. So I, right here I call uh, Curl Flat 100%. See, I wouldn't play Pat Sell because I would, I would live with you trying to fit that in on my cover, too, at, like, the goal line. It might, but I, I, yeah. I would lurk the streak and then go to the drag and make you And he doesn't blitz. Play. And you know when I see a blitz, like, I'm going to start getting wild with my rollout. I know the rack act, and I, and I had to step. I just had to make sure that cloud came down just a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, Travis Kelsey, once again, 98 overall player, just sealing that edge, letting him do that little rollout. And... Yeah. 
Hill was his MVP, but I think Kelsey Kelsey might have a second. Mm. And he might he might caught like one or two catches a game, and <laughs> and they were all big. They were all <laughs> high points, and he caught him. He caught him too. <laughs> Conley, I mean, oh, Conley was huge. I've always put, was, yeah. I've always loved Conley in the slot for three, like I've always loved Conley in the slot. It's so right. weird. He's got height, and he's I think he's fast. standing three. Yeah. yeah, but now this is, little man got to score. I think he does score. No, he, no. Uh, this little man tells me after the game, he was like, hey, man, you know, uh, if I would have scored, I was going for two to end it. I was wanting to clock you the whole quarter. Mm. That's rough. Uh, I don't mind that. Yeah, I mean, if you – well, honestly, how he's playing defense. Yeah, I like, don't, yeah, like, what the heck, yeah. <laughs> I don't mind <laughs> why that. Why not? He feels like he can get a stop right now. So yeah. why not go for it? And yeah. he had the, and if you watch little man's games, he had a little glitch of a – of a hitch route high point, and it was killing everyone he played. Oh, he definitely Conley was balling for little man. I'll tell you what, he needed a Conley jersey, especially versus uh, Blocky, I think. He yeah, and it was all tournament for him. Yeah. This, it's, the, it's the glitch where he's on your back. They don't they give an animation for the guy that's ahead of you, and they'll give you like a – he's going to ride you, pause, you're going to pick it, or you're going to get a touchdown. Yeah, shoot. So if he's gonna milk the whole game, I mean, the forty-second play clock is crazy. You can definitely milk. Yeah, you can milk that. Yeah, this should, if if he felt like this was the last job, I don't even blame him. I don't blame him either. When he told me that, like feeling, but then he told me it after the game. I was like, you know what? I don't even blame I, him. I don't mind. Yeah, I I get it. Oof. If I don't feel like I'm stopping somebody, this is definitely the last. It's job. crazy to me because just in my mind, like four when it says four minutes, it doesn't feel like you can clock it. But then once it says three, I feel like it's just like. Especially 40 seconds, this is, like you said, three plays and we're at two-minute warning. I've been a I man five-minute quarter games where it's two minutes left in the third, and you're like, this is the last job, man. You get 40 seconds, yeah. you, could, you could do what you need to do. 40 seconds. Oh, that was oh. so late right there. Jeez. That was literally, like, you know, it's like one of those deals where it's a bad read, but it's, like, not a pick bad read, but it's, like, a, ooh, like, yeah. that could have been picked. Yeah. He, he had it. He, he had, had it. He just way too see, late. that's that where he got on no Skimbo. Like, if, if you y'all didn't Skimbo, see it on stream, Y'all didn't see it on stream. That was only his second bad pass literally all game. Yeah, it was just late. It, I wasn't that horrible. It was just late. He had it. Ah, uh, just late. Just late, yeah. Oh, good read, too. That, that took patience. I remember that, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I've been noticing for some reason on stick, my cloud flats were playing really underneath. So I, I, those were cloud flats, too. And I almost stopped him. I was spamming RB, and I could have that could have easily got out of his hand because it was a yeah. bang bang play. I'd have been catch. pissed if Kelsey dropped that. To be honest, I'd have nah, been it was a bang bang play. You know, I, I mean, pay, I would have hit him as soon I as he pay, caught it. As soon as he caught it, I hit him. I pay Kelsey a lot of money. See, but this is a, a situation for me. I, I guess you can't take it to two minute warning, but it's getting there. He does run. Almost, you know, breaks one. I thought Barry did fight again for a lot of people he fought on the block sheds, dude. Like he should, which I wish the game was better at the safeties being able to throw wide receivers out of the way. But he did a good job for a lot of people, and that's the difference. I'm glad EA made it so you can play with the people that are on IR, even though Eric Barry is back in real life. Being yeah, able to that's being huge. able to play with all the other players just make one obviously a lot of people use the Chiefs, but it opens up a lot of other teams that people gave up on because of that. Now why are we on the nickel out of nowhere like that? Yeah, why random? Uh, why randomly do that? Run defense. Because because he's shown me, and I don't know if I did it. Because he's shown me he's hitting this tight end route. So I guess this is me getting cute. One time, <laughs> I put my uh, I put one of my burr hooks manned up on the tight end. Uh -huh. Yeah. And and then so I kept the clouds and I was gonna lurk the post with it and keep my other burr hook on uh, the drag. And mm -hmm. so yeah, I was I was just wanting to mix it up one time, maybe get a shed and make it a third and ten and just go right back. Like I said, I'm I'm not gonna get too wild on defense and go up a touchdown. That that right there is me getting wild, and it's so simple. You. It's just systematic. It really is. That's all it is. Just. But every side Tyreek was on, I definitely backed up and moved him outside. And I was definitely nervous of Tyreek this whole entire drive. Sheesh. Just man up the D end on <laughs> who just man up no, on the tight end. No, but that should that should have been picked because finally he throws it at my vert hook and uh I played him over the top too and he like fit it between him. Like that that right there, I couldn't believe that that was a completion. I really done it. Conley. Dog. No, but now he's in the hardest spot to score here. Well, you say that. Little man's offense in the red zone was unbelievable this whole tournament. I, I don't know how he was doing, but 
But this is the adjustment I was saving. It sounds simple, but uh, I'm gonna lurk on the opposite side of mesh post right here. That killed him, man. That didn't like that run. Yeah, he just got 10 yards uh, plus two times on it. So of course he's figuring he's gonna get more yards. Oh, yeah, and just sure. I, my dude stopped it. Still right here. Obviously we're back in cloud flats. We're not getting too wild on defense here. Now I know I can bring my safeties all the way the hell in because I can't get burned over the top. And I'm just going to lurk on this side and act like I'm playing the drag, then shoot up to the post. That I killed and he, him. And he panic throwed it. It's a lob. Man, and every second that you're returning that is seconds off the clock, really. Yes. Oh, my God. Compton. Compton, we get your money, my guy. Yeah, he hit, he hit me with <laughs> it, too. Get your money. <laughs> we back. Get yeah, your back. money. Yeah, but then that's why a lot of times I was thinking he might go down in the end zone. No. But literally that five, six, seven seconds just came off the clock. Just at the end of the day, it all matters at this point in the game. Now talk about that's running right. out the clock right here. What's the thought? I mean, obviously his defense was bad. No, I'm running the ball. I'm running the ball. I'm not passing it. I'm you're running not passing it. one time. You're getting three runs. And I'm not. I'm not. Ball. I'm running the ball. No timeouts, and he'll have about 25 seconds once the punt's done. I'm, I'm cool with it. How, I, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not passing the ball here. Like, I'm just not. And we are we on conservative, or are we just rocking out with the balanced? We're rocking out. We're rocking out right here because I want to be able to make someone miss and get a first down. And we went to inside zone. Uh, I mean, honestly, loops. for me, I'm just in the craziest inside zone defense right here. Oh, I saw him click on over there, and I snapped it, and my dude and lost. The game's over. Fucking. You might get a run commit out of me on a skimbo coming out in trips tight end. That might be a run <laughs> commit. <laughs> right. I'm Jeez. not going to dot nothing. I'm not, I have no dots unless it's in bunch. Like, there's no dot ever coming out of me. No, that, that was the game. Uh, Michael Skimbo beast. A little man played. Honestly, he played. I thought he was going to lay down. And it was a done yeah. deal, and he played a great game. He played game, good really. on offense. He played good on offense. He made literally two awful passes, and I got both of those for picks. And that was just it. He didn't get away with a, his bad read. Skimbo got to work on his celebration, though. That, that, I don't know, man. Well, if you had to be in the venue, it wasn't too lit. Couldn't get too wild in there. <laughs> Yeah, I believe I didn't it. have any I didn't have any of my boys. <laughs> but yeah. I didn't have you. <laughs> yeah. Reggie. Reggie, he's Reggie a little here. quiet. Reggie, Reggie like, over hey. there golf clapping. He's just yeah. golf clapping. Hey guys. You know, I can't wait to go back and eat my salad, you know. <laughs> that salad's waiting for me. So yeah. sheesh. Like I didn't have no one to stunt with. <laughs> yeah, I mean it'd be like that and then uh I said, uh, shoot. So Ice was the toughest game. Master Gamer Five, gave you a real tough game. I thought Master Gamer was going to be the toughest game. And then when he missed the field goal, it was huge. I thought Master Gamer was definitely going to be the yeah. toughest game. Field goal changed a lot. I think the ice game was tougher. Yeah, just it was because tougher. I felt help, Just because I felt helpless on off uh, on defense. And I don't like feeling like that. As much as people talk about my offense, I, I love defense. And I hate feeling helpless on defense. And I really did feel like that versus ice. I mean, him coming out of half trying to mix it up is what cost him that game. So high point over there. <clears throat> Now, Skimbo has three belts. Yeah. I said it in the beginning of last year. Yeah. That he sure. was the new GOAT. Yeah, Gene as the real GOAT. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That we all know, us that's, you know, 28 plus yeah. know that Gene is the real GOAT. How do we rank this guy, Michael Skimbo, and his dominance of the last three, four years as far as the pantheon of great Madden players? Man, uh, I'm – Definitely not number two anymore, which sucks. Um, God honest truth. All right, if we looking at um accomplishments, I mean, Problem's been playing longer, so mm -hmm. no no one has that's no one has done what Problem's done because Problem's been playing the longest. Mm -hmm. But like a lot of us look at talent, uh, we don't look at what you've done or whatever. We look at mm -hmm. like like talent and how it looked. Ah, uh, he's. He's he's Skimble's it. Skimble's Skimble's nice, man. <laughs> Skimble's definitely one of the most talented man players ever. Mm -hmm. He's he's like it's about like six to seven players that I've seen that he reminds me of, mm -hmm. and that he's in that class. He's 
everyone that has arguments, like when you talk to old players, and, and it, it's uh, old players. Yeah. I guess because I'm not competitive, I'm I'm not hating or whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm no if I was competitive because I was like, there's a problem. I'm like, problem's not better than me. I don't know what y'all talking about. I'm still. Mm-hmm. And then when I stopped playing, I was like, yeah, problem, problem got it. But it's like you'll hear a bunch of people t- talk, and it's like, well, um, when y'all were playing back in the day, y'all had to come up with different type of offenses. And I'm like, well, that's not his fault or whatever, because if I could run tight every every game when I was playing back in the day, I would have ran tight every game. Mm-hmm. He could run a bunch every time, let him do his thing. It's like, what the heck? Why are y'all hating for him for that <clears> or whatever? But it's a lot to his game. Like, he don't get enough credit for his defense. And he does a lot of things on defense that other people don't see. And he's like an underrated defensive player or whatever, a very underrated defense. In my mind, he's a very underrated defensive player. And as far as offense, like I seen it in Matt Seventeen, I seen him. I seen his offense look different for different defensive sets. I I seen him like once you said once he started entertaining or whatever. I seen his offense go mm-hmm. from good to amazing. I I've seen a lot of things. Yeah, I, in my mind, he's yeah, Skim- sure. yeah, Skimbo's. Now I'm gonna ask Skimbo. I already know what he's gonna say. Yeah. But, Mike, w- where do you feel? Like, this win was, was big. I mean, obviously, last year in New York was a big tournament win. And that's why I think when you was really on your run from Man 17, I mean, mm-hmm. winning the championship, then you won the Mudhead, the last, like, big-ass Mudhead that they had that was for a lot of money. Then he mm-hmm. won a North Carolina tournament that was yeah. <laughs> hella money. Yeah. Then he then won the won first. That was yeah. the craziest from the end of Man 17. all the, oh. and, and honestly, and I told him this the other day, he could have five, six belts. Yeah, when you really think about it, because he lost the first game, the first belt ever to Mo in overtime. And I heard he didn't take Man Sixteen seriously. <clears throat> like I heard he no, didn't. He, he took. Man. No, I was he, on. No, I was. I was. On he was game. on. I lay love. Like he didn't really take it. There. I was like, so, wow. How so he, get to the he lost the championship in the first ever MCS. Okay. In the first tournament, he lost to Mo in in, a, in overtime. In yeah. A crazy game. One of the better games that MCS has seen in Man Sixteen. Got gotcha. you. Then. Madden 17 comes around, he made the first live event. Then he made Madden Bowl when he was like, by the time he did a little stop motion thing, he was probably the best player at the, at the Madden Bowl. Yeah. Then he lost to me in a game he kind of had in control. He had in the control. Game, yeah. And then he probably plays problem, and he always had good success against problem. So if he doesn't give up that lead to me, he could have won that belt. Then the next MCS event, he plays Beast, Beast Mode, Mode in the finals. Yeah. Lays down the Beast yeah, Mode. He could have won that. And then Mode. he won the Man Championship. Yeah. And so it, it How many finals wild. has he been to? Uh, shoot. Well, I think five. That's insane. Five finals. That's insane. So, it could, so in the last two or three years, it could have been worse if it wasn't for the, the valiant efforts of myself yeah. and a couple other souls. But, Mike, I'm going to ask you. Where do you think your legacy, what is your goal as a Miami player when you step back and look at all the people that came before you and obviously the people that are great becoming you? What is your goal? Where do you think you have achieved at this point? Uh, I don't know, man. I, I feel like I've achieved as much as I could in the, in the, in the era I've been a part of, you know. And uh, honestly, a problem just wins one belt. This conversation's dead, and he's had four chances, I think, right? Yeah, problem's been as much as – you know, yeah. when we step back and say Prime didn't win a belt in this time frame, but he's well, been he's like, been successful. It's been, he's and, and it's, been it's not even final. been like, like the ghost game wasn't close. Yeah. But the game against me, we was watching it before we even, like, bro, he could have won that game super easily. Yeah. And the game against Mike, he could have, that was a hell game too. Yeah. So he's been knocking on the door to where he wins two other belts. Boom, it's then it's not. And that's what's crazy. And I talked to Jet a lot today that problem is still. Like that competitive ex of how many people are thirty years old, been playing for yeah. ten years and, and still competing, and still competing. But kid. I think it's harder to be this dominant right now. Okay. At, at this Madden than it was ten years ago. Okay. Why you say that? Because ten years ago, I feel like one, it was a lot tighter. Okay. You know I'm saying it wasn't as how to be good at Madden wasn't broadcasted all over the world. Gotcha. You know? That's fair. And when you went to a Madden challenge, say it was 200 people there, 300 people there. Yeah. How many people, you know, could give you a good game out of those people? Three. You know what I'm saying? That's my point. Yeah. But not even that. Out of those other three that can give you a good game, how many people would you have to sweat against? Now, I feel like if you go to a 300 per everybody knows how to run bunch or run a yeah. nickel blitz. You know, everybody, yeah. the average player is a lot better now than they were 10 years ago. 
not that they could beat you, but you could lose to anybody now. You know I'm saying because everybody has the system, everybody knows what they're doing, everybody's kind of in tune. Not to mention, you said three or four. We always think it's only 20, 30 good man players. Yeah. But from 30 to 100 is a lot better now than it was 10 years way ago. Better. Way better. Like, there's way, way more better. people going after this, and obviously it's in a bigger spotlight, so there's way more people going after it as opposed to then. Because I love men, but it wasn't my, my thing to go, let me go to every challenge like y'all were because yeah. I wasn't in that world. Yeah. Had there been YouTube and Twitch back then, I would have easily been in that world because gotcha. it would have been more accessible. The people like us are way more accessible now than you guys ever were 10, 15 years ago. And I feel I there's think, more people going after it. What do you think? I think that's fair to say. I think they both are the same to me, honestly, because I feel as though back in the day, all right, um, as far as the AA challenge, I mean, two minute quarters was rough. You, sure. fumble, you fumble your first <laughs> job and you're never getting the ball back for the rest of the game. So to get through that wasn't as easy as people think, say it was, because mm-hmm. that was rough. Two minute quarters and then three minute quarters was rough. Mm-hmm. Um, the what he just went through as far as having to adjust the same the same day and the next day and not not be able to lab or whatever, you had to come up with that and. Every different tournament, it was different. So for some years, some for some years, it would be like a good thirty people that were okay to good, mm-hmm. and you don't have a clue what they're doing or whatever. You don't have a clue how to get it blocked. You don't know what blitz that nano blitzes was was stupid back then. So mm-hmm. you didn't know how to get it blocked, and you had to figure it out. And if you didn't figure it out, you was gonna die. So I feel I feel as though nano blitzes made it made it just the same as as difficult as what you were talking about as far as this era. Um. What else makes it difficult back then? Um, the fact that it was only one major tournament made it That's difficult. The, and Jet had told me that though when I was talking to him. It was like now you got four chances to get kind of Yeah, so you got a lot of finals. And, like, back in the day, like, I was the only one who went to two. And then no one else was getting the finals or whatever back then mm-hmm. or whatever. It just – it was only one a year or whatever. So it was like – it is what it is or whatever. And tournaments start dying down. It was like 04, it was like 100 tournaments or whatever. 05, there was a lot of tournaments. And then it just started dying and dying and dying and dying or whatever. So I feel as though it was difficult in its own ways or whatever. But if you put everything the same, like if it was like four different tournaments then and four different tournaments now, it, they both would have the same ch- I think it would. I think it would be the same, put it that way or whatever. I feel as though... Like, if let's say if Skimbo was playing back in the day or whatever, like he's been in multiple finals or whatever, it would have been very difficult for him to be in multiple finals because, mm-hmm. like, he just lost the club series. And if that was a tournament, it would have been over or whatever. And the year was over. No matter how many $3,000, 4000 tournaments he would have won, his year was over. So mm-hmm. I just think it was difficult because it was just one major tournament or whatever. Mm-hmm. For sure. But I definitely – I'm not like the people back in the day. I respect the heck out of this era. Like, I feel as though – from 03 to 05, it was me. From 06 and 07, it was secret. 08 was problem. 10 and 11 was loose. I don't even count on nine. 10 and 11 was loose. And the problem had his air again. And then from 16 and 19 is, is him or whatever. And for you to have four straight years where I feel as though you were, you were that man, it's, mm-hmm. that's hard because I don't think anyone's had four straight years. Well, for where sure. you were I, that man. I feel man. like you got to put Mo in there somewhere from Mo know, is 11, the man. 13, 14, Mo is the man. There, Twenty-five around there when he was popping all the tournaments there, he definitely had a uh, Mo. Mo is the man. A tough little run there, especially as far as somebody yeah, that could yeah. go win a one-day, two-day event. You yeah, know, that's definitely something that he's always been good at. You know, for yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know how that work honestly, because like I said, I didn't start playing Madden until Madden thirteen. That was my first Madden, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'll say this: When I came in the Madden 13, and my first year was Madden 25, those dudes that were like the top players—I'm not going to mention any of the names because they're okay. really not playing no more. Okay. They—they're uh, not even relevant now. So it mm-hmm. makes me wonder, like, what kind of level were? Did the game just change that much, or is the level just that much higher than it was? I'm not talking about like in Genius era. I'm talking like four years ago era. You know what I mean? That yeah. little. The, that little spurt right there from Madden 12, I guess, to Madden 25. Because when I came into the scene, I remember who were the known guys and and who made those runs yeah. and those VG tournaments. Yeah. And now, now it wasn't because they stopped playing. And they told me it's just they they're just they're not good anymore. Yeah. And I don't I don't know if that's because the game has changed a lot with quick adjustments. Like if you went back and played a Madden from just four years ago, the game's completely mm-hmm. different. Yeah. Right. 
but those guys, they're nowhere to be found now. And it makes me real, like wonder, is the game just that much different? Or because there's so much money on the line, these kids are putting this much hours. Like, I said this the other day somewhere. I'm not, I can't say where. But it's like, you know, the whole speech i got to give my kids when we're, we're outmatched. Hey, they they uh, they get up the same way. They dress like we would. They eat like us, blah, blah, blah. The same person. It's like the same thing with these kids. Like, they might be people we've never heard of. But what's to say if they're not putting in 8 to 10 hours a day? Like, why can't they play at an unreal level, right? Mm -hmm. So... It's just kind of that's just kind of where we're at. A lot of those dudes that dominated that era, they're just like not even not even around now. Like they just stopped playing. And so I I think the skill level of uh, not just top twenty people, but like top one hundred people have just gotten so much better I, in, in the last couple I, years. I I agree with that as far as like from the top twenty to the top one hundred is way more difficult to deal with than it was back in the day. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I guess someone that played like even though I don't play nowhere near as serious as you guys, someone that played now and someone played then, I think it's a total different game because it's like I guess when I'm labbing back in the day or whatever, I'm literally like I'm my my I noticed I could be wrong, but I've noticed you have some type of scheme to go deep throughout every single year or whatever you know exactly what to do or whatever to go deep and me personally when i'm practicing back in the day i'm looking to throw through things like i'm not necessarily i could care less yeah. i'm gonna I'm go deep but i'm I, like you got cover too i want to throw through that guy over there that's that was yeah. really my goal mm -hmm. or whatever so it's a different game or whatever because it's none of that no more. i can't throw through him so mm -hmm. since i can't go throw through him i gotta make reads i gotta do this that and a third or whatever and Someone who played back in the day is definitely more difficult. It definitely went up a level or whatever because you got to make reads. You got to make different adjustments. And back in the day, I'm not necessarily – like when I'm practicing, I'm looking to throw through coverages more so than reading or whatever. I, I'm throwing right. through people. I'm, right. I'm going to a five-yard mark and I'm boxing out. I'm going to a 10-yard mark and I'm boxing <clears> out. I'm – I'm going to 15 yard mark, and I know none of your guys are going to be there. I don't care. Yeah, it's so it's different. It's definitely different. The game has evolved from being completely surrounded by a gimmick, through a gimmick. Your yeah. gimmick, whatever gimmick it may be, a rocket catch up the middle, motion this guy over, snap throw, it, whatever it may be. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Maybe because of, but even more so, it was wild back then. Like you just had, and, and you can make a whole offense around one gimmick. But now it's more so a whole offense around one route. Right. You know, and it's yeah, not really a gimmick well, route. It's just when they don't cover, really. Yeah. It really is because of patches, though. Because, like, say we were doing that the first month and everyone was rocket catching like they were. And with this era, they would patch. Oh, yeah, for sure. Else oh, yeah, for sure. Definitely, if there was yeah. patches back then, some, like, curls definitely, in 09, curls would have been, been yeah. completely wiped out. Yeah. And, and it's just, the patches definitely changed something that's super overpowered. But at the same time, if it. Rocket catching was something that separated somebody good. Like, I could play this guy over here on the computer, and I could blow him out 80 to 0 yeah. because I knew how to rocket catch and I knew how to nano blitz. Now I could play this guy on the computer. Most I'm going to beat him now is 35-0 is or something like that. And that, that would, right. is not going to be cute. It's not going to be like, damn, it's not going to show – how much better somebody is than somebody else. Yeah. Back 10 years ago, you would watch somebody play a random and you would be astonished by the way you kicked their ass. Yeah. Now it's you can't you can't look that much better than a janitor. No. Pretty much y'all just it's going to look there's nothing you can do yeah. since the swerve. The swerve was the one thing you uh, could that's do. That's exactly what I was about to say. Yeah. Uh-huh. The one thing the swerve you could do was just really embarrass the shit out of a regular human being. Yeah. And that's something we really don't have that you can really go ahead and embarrass somebody. And I think <clears throat> that's right. what people like to see. That's what's made, you know, Ninja and all the Fortnite streamers so good because they yeah. go out there and embarrass the shit out of people. Yeah. Like, I can lock in as much as I want on Mutt Head to Head, but I'm not going to just really embarrass somebody and make nah. them look horrible. Even if you beat them, it's really going to still look the, look the same. But you I, know, and that's I think that's what EA wants or whatever because when it was like that, people got the point that they wasn't going to beat us, and then they left. They're like, we're not going to beat them. It's no point in, no point in even trying or whatever because it, it was like – like, to go back to the top twenty to hundred people, or whatever they would they would copy off of what someone came up with or whatever, and beat beat randoms and beat the heck out of them, and it'll make them look way better than what they they really are, or whatever, just off a of gimmick or whatever. Now, the top twenty to hundred people right now in this era, or whatever, they still have to fight or whatever. So, so it's it's, it's way, way more difficult in my mind in this era than it is. Yeah, like, I mean, in my in I my mean, in my it, opinion. It's hard in this era because, like, I mean, who ran a blitz that you've never seen at that tournament? That never you know, happens. Dog, right? 
right? Young Dog might have ran something just a little different. It was three two five normal. I mean, yeah. like back then. I mean, that's the thing. Like with where I'm getting at. Sorry, I forgot to say it. Is with YouTube and Twitch and all this stuff. It's like, like that's why it's so easy for someone to be a top 100 player and compete against a top 10 player because they're running the same thing as you. It's just how are you going to clock differently, or yeah. what little adjustment will you do to throw them off guard that one time because they have the same blitz as you, but can he adjust out of it? You know what I mean? That's what separates. But. I feel Every, as though not to cut you off. I feel as though if it yeah, was yeah. if it was like back in the day and no one knew what would come up, or whatever, it'd be the you will show you personally, Skimbo will show up to the tournament, or whatever, much prepare, and you'll see everyone don't have a clue because it, I think the YouTube and the Twitch era and everything or whatever prepares everyone. I think it would be the same. Yes, because I you said you was playing a man twenty five, and I remember Los going to a tournament and like he'll tell you the only person that knew about that corner route was me and him or whatever because I come up with it and he went to that yeah, tournament that and no one knew yeah, about that corner that. route and I was the person to create it and no one knew about it and he dominated the tournament. That's how it would be right now if it wasn't for Twitch and YouTube. Hey, it would hey, be one person. It would be one person. me on the map. Yeah, he, you know? it was one person. <laughs> That's I hilarious. Popped I popped him. He put me on the map when I popped him at 25 in that groovy crew. I remember that game. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, he really – he because I, I, I wasn't going all the way to that tournament, but I was the only person to come up with it, and he was the only person to know about that it. That was tough. But that's that that that's the example. I think it would be like that this year or whatever. I just think Twitch and YouTube made it made it a whole, whole lot harder for people to just show up because you would have showed up with the bomb glitch. No one would have known about it or whatever, and – yeah. It'd have been scary. That's how it'll be. It just it's just a different era. It's more difficult yeah. for a lot of different reasons in my opinion. Yeah, so like so funny you said that. So like I kinda got upset with Drini. So I'm in bunch and I knew about this uh a couple cover three bombs and W knows what I'm talking about from oh. the NASA or whatever. And okay. uh uh, well, Drini found the same bomb and puts it on YouTube for everyone to see on Cover Three. I'm just sitting there going, it's disgusting, bruh, man. Like, it's disgusting. I go to my verticals. Yeah, that little out route with yeah. whatever, which is, would, but still, it's like <clears throat> after thinking, I thought everyone knew about the fade. I can people were like, oh, we knew about that too. I was like, yeah, but like, yeah, but people don't know how to know YouTube. About it. Listen, the million subs you can get on YouTube, they're not looking for how to beat cover three. They're looking for how to run the ball. How to stop no, the but, run? No, how to no, no, but the, but if no, you teach them the top, but the top 100. Yes, you're right, Mike. Yes, that and, I'm talking and, about uh, top 100. Your goal on YouTube is not get the top 100. You want the top I know. million. No, he's messing up. And no, I've been they're, trying they're to tell people that up. they're messing. They're all messing up on that. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about skill gap and top 20 to top 100. Oh, for yeah. sure. And that's yeah. what makes the top 100 more competitive. Yeah. Is that too? Well, there's definitely a skill gap in Madden. I, I mean, 100. Yeah, percent No, I think I hate when people say the the worst players bring up skill gap. There's always going to be a skill gap in Madden. There is a skill gap. People are just mad that unknown names that put a bunch of hours in the game are just as good as they can be just because they put in the time. It's not It's not who you are anymore. I mean, I think we just saw that in the Madden Classic. You can show up, and that person next to you knows about the money, and they put in 10 hours a day just like you. And yeah. we saw it at the Madden Classic. Unknown names talked about how much time they put in the game. They knew about the money. It's yeah. not like back in the day when I first played, hey, I'm playing for three or four hours. I'm going to fly down to Atlanta and go play an underground tournament. Mm -hmm. It's, bro, I'm playing seven or eight hours as soon as I'm off work, and I'm going to put in the time. And I think we're just kind of seeing that right now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, to see, I think there's a huge skill gap and a huge knowledge gap. I I really do. I just like then that's – can both successful, really. I he think they just right. worded it wrong when they put it on Twitter and they complain and cry on tweets. I I don't exactly. think it, I don't think it's a skill gap between the top that thirty or say the top fifty to the top two hundred or whatever because I think they're the same player or whatever in my opinion or whatever. So maybe that's what they mean or whatever. But from one to whatever number you want to put it, it's a definitely a big skill gap or whatever. It's just. Let's say back in the day or whatever, it, those whole 20 to 300 or whatever, mm -hmm. it was a way big skill gap. But now it's like if the top 32nd person can lose to the top 270-something, and they can look like the same player at one game or whatever. I guess that's what they mean or whatever. And this is, uh, this is what I'll tell you. Um, the problem, this is the skill gap with the problem. It has nothing to do about – what he runs it's his clock management and Man, stuff like that i told w yeah. i told w this i would love to have played like problem for my career man i wish i could play like prime even though it may be ugly and no one no one want to do it on offense and a lot of people don't think much of it or whatever man the, the way he fights and his freestyle right. ability and I, I, it keeps him in every man it's it's crazy i yeah. wish i could play like problem I, I told w this too i said me and problem are a lot of light like that like i'll look awful 
and I've been blown out maybe one time, I think. I think it was versus lights. Gotcha. And no CBJ because I was wild. But I told uh, Dubby, I'm like, bro, it's like I'll never get blown out even when I'm playing awful just because I know about clock management yeah. and how to not be dumb in the red zone and hold them to three. Like it's that little stuff that's a huge skill gap that a lot of these players like like don't care about I. I yeah. mean, he had it and he tries to get cute. It's like, bro, manage the clock. Take your tight end dump down that you've been having success. Yeah. It's like little stuff like that. Like I could look awful. But because I know how to score at the end of the half, or because I know about the two minute warning and how to clock and yeah. all that stuff, I think I think the skill gap sometimes doesn't even come from being glitchy. It just comes from being like a real NFL coach. And that's yeah. why we get so upset as Madden players because we deal with this stuff all the time. And so we see it every game we play. We fight five, six games a day yeah. and we deal with clock situation. I think that's why problem is always going to be at the top because of that, that, that skill alone. And we're not even talking about being glitchy. We're talking about managing a clock and doing situational stuff. Yep. I agree. hundred percent. Except versus me. When you do that high ball to Jimmy. That Gray. was, that was the one time I saw a problem. Not I be problem. You, Prab. I know you out there, man. I, I I, that's the, the one time friend. I saw a problem. Not, that's the, Probably the only time in his career I seen problem not be problem. Yeah, that was the and, and listen, only time. I'm gonna go to my grave. Mm-hmm. I'll be skimbo and I'll be problem back in the to tournament. Back. Yep, mm-hmm. yep, the two best players and the hottest ever. and mm-hmm. the hottest player at the time, Hollywood. Yep, and Hollywood. <laughs> and you know. yeah, definitely Hollywood. Yeah. Hey, listen, hey, that, that, that was a crazy run. Skimbo, that was a hell run. That was a hell skimbo run. Don't want me on, on the main stage. I'm saying I, had, I, I I'm, I'm back. <laughs> Man, man, twenty. I can't have this, man. They really walking around talking about how great Skimbo is, yeah. but he knows what the deal is. He knows what it is. Yes, yeah, I have that man. cover three cloud. Like he I said, hates. man. There's always the, what we already talked about. You took what you took. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you're right. I had to do it. See, and he's gonna leave me. That's crazy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Jeez, man. You don't know the sacrifices I've made for Michael. Yeah. But anyway, we talk about the sacrifice of the future. I want to ask you because. I, we have a lot of the same opinions, obviously, on these things we talk about all the time, and that's the future of the MCS. Like, what, where do you see needs the biggest improvements, and what do you want? Because you are different than me. You are the epitome of somebody that just is uh-huh. maintaining off your tournament winnings. If you don't win, right. you don't get paid. That's pretty much how your life has been, and you're dependent on the MCS structure. You're dependent on them doing something for one of the, the probably the biggest name player. What can they do for you to make your future in MCS better? What do you think they need to improve? Uh, man, there's just so many. I don't think we're going to be able to fit it in. But uh, I don't even know where to begin, Dub. Uh, I'm thinking about the 2K League. Um, that's not even that's not even 2K. That's the NBA, right? Yeah. That's the we're that's, so that's far the, away from that that it, and it makes me sick and i know it makes you sick i know it makes every yeah. other man player sick to see the opportunities to see what these 2k players have to see uh, everything that's laid out in front of them and the opportunity they have and i tell i obviously i taught the right. steves probably the most and i tell him man take advantage of this don't let dumb shit yeah. ruin it don't let y'all ruin it from the inside because us we put in the same amount of time as video games as those guys you know, and yep. we master our video game as best as we can. And, and we love our video game as much as they love 2K. And they've given a huge opportunity that we continue to watch watch the MCS, watch EA, and we could just beg for an opportunity like that to be in a position where they are, not only with their stability, yeah. but they're such a, you know, a tight-knit group yeah, that right. they're going to stay stable for a long time. And, and that's really something that we wish we could get to. Yeah. I hope they don't ever mess that <clears> up, man. <throat> they don't know how good yeah. they have it, man. No, but like I was saying, um, obviously I wish the NFL, I guess, would get involved and put on con- contracts because not even the guaranteed contracts that these kids get for six months, 35000 or something like that. I know a couple of the top players that if they stream um, like 10 hours a week, they get paid $30 per hour, and that's some nice change right yes, there. It is, I mean, for sure. you're already you're already on your contract with the league, and then you're going to get paid $30 per hour, you know – 30 times 10 you're gonna make 300 dollars a week just yeah. streaming like yeah. it doesn't even matter your views or yeah. anything just because your organization wants you to do some kind of streaming you fire up a stream yeah i'm gonna make 300 dollars this week you know that's 1200 dollars in a month on top of yeah. maybe a, a winning and contracts so obviously in the future i hope we get there but i'll talk about it without having the nfl involved i think uh i think the format was honestly pathetic pathetic this year um, 
I think the first tournament was cool. Obviously, what happened, you know, mm -hmm. Jacksonville. Yeah. I mean, there's going to be some things that need to be changed now. At yeah. the time, it sounded good, but mm -hmm. I don't see security being OD and uh, for for locations. I I think we got to get back to online, and this is where I get. I think, you know, I I think leaderboards with top four. I said it on Twitter. I'll say it again. They have to, they have to come back. They have to come back because it avoids the fluke and it makes people just play the game. And um, right now, I'm 40 and 0 on Draft Champions, and I don't even need to touch the game anymore. Like it's done. Yeah. And that leaderboard, that leaderboard's done in two months. So now I go into a single elimination, and I could get fluked out, which happens. I just feel like going forward, talking about me securing the bag, I need top four because I'll always be a top four, I feel like, and mm -hmm. I need me to have a better chance of making the money. Mm -hmm. Another thing, I just got done winning, I believe. I said going, I said before I, this, before I won it, and obviously people are going to look at my road. They're going to look at my road and feel like it wasn't that, and here we go, typing that I'm a loser. So funny. <laughs> I'm not. Continue. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, but I look, so I said going in the tournament, I thought the regular tournaments, I thought whoever won that tournament was a goon. I felt like playing that many single elimination games in two days, you know, whoever earns it, earns it. I mean, honestly, man, I'm sitting over here with $25,000, which is great, but I'm also looking at club series. If you make top A, you make twenty or 25000 for making top A. So what I just went through, you know, if you make top A, you're making just as much money as me. And I just feel like the money has to get better for first place. Because even the last tournament of the year, you know, unlike like I think the Madden 17 was perfect. You won the the first tournament was like thirty thousand. The W tournament was seventy five thousand. Yeah. The Beast Mode Mac tournament was fifty thousand. Yeah. And like, like that's a lot of money. And then um, the championship obviously was a hundred thousand. Now yeah. it's twenty five, thirty, and forty, on top of the hundred thousand that you win for club series. So there's no seventy five thousand bag. There's no fifty thousand bag. And yeah. I mean, uh, it's it's a it's a you know hindsight to that, or it's a, another end to that. Is that somebody that is trying to make a living? All right, say you're still making a little change, even if you don't have a crazy run. Okay. Like even if you come up on three thousand or twenty five hundred dollars, obviously it's not a lot of money. You had a disappointing tournament All ultimately, right. All right. but it's still a little bit of money. You know what I'm saying <laughs> I think the club series is a little wild. Actually, it's a lot wild when it comes to that. I feel like it maybe the top four could get paid a little bit but i think the club yeah. series definitely pays out a little bit too broadly okay. yeah and i think we can all agree on that man i don't think like if i wouldn't know. care about the club series being the way it was if they made one of y'all one of the four tournaments exactly. a winner take all yeah. like if it was like if it was like exactly. one of the tournaments was a winner take all and the first place like the last tournament of the year like if that was then <laughs> yeah, i wouldn't see, care about I, the cup series being the way it was but i'm, uh, I'm cool with get everybody getting paid you know i don't i think... mean one tournament out of four right yeah, like one no, tournament cool out of four because because it, it'll leave you unless they're going to put it back the way like okay man 17 was the best way but i don't think it's going <clears> to go back and that's how i feel last year i had a good year right i didn't win a tournament i made yeah. a final four i made final six yeah ultimate. I made over fifty thousand dollars last yeah. year. I didn't win a tournament. Yeah, you know, so I feel like ultimately when I look back on my life, I'm gonna say, "Damn, I had a good year that year. Yeah, I didn't win anything, and not, no one's ever gonna remember my Madden 18, but I made a salary playing Madden 18. Yeah. You know, so uh, essentially, I do want everybody to get paid out. I just think that it, it needs to. You need to draw the line somewhere. You know, and I All right, and, but and, 25, and, 30, <clears throat> and 40. It's like it really only one tournament to play for, in my opinion. Yeah. Like my biggest no, thing is that. No, I said this to the kid, and Kip said it. I can win every tournament and not make as much as that guy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like you, it, it only make to me. It makes like one tournament the only tournament that anyone should care about. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I, there's I, a lot of people with that attitude too. You'd be surprised. There's some know, top players. I've said that. I step back and and what I think about Mad the MCS is, what was wrong with Madden 17? You know, like what. <laughs> Why didn't we take the Madden 17 and just kind of, you know, improve on that format, you know? And even Madden yeah. 18, obviously, they included Club Series a lot more. I guess that was the biggest transition from 17 to 18. But even if you took eight, I think you went from 18 and just kind of made it a little worse than 18. You know, when we were all kind of pissed off at 18 to begin with. Yeah. Then you took 18 and just made a worse version of 18, you know? And I feel right, like in really the three did. years from 17, 18, 19 – 
it's got progressively worse. Yeah, I agree. Well, the the format the format's actually better this year than last year. However, it's not because there's no top four leaderboard grind, and that's what makes it at the end of the day not. But it really is because there's a last chance tournament to get it into the ultimate league and all that. But um, this is me about money though. Uh, so uh, I don't know. I'm gonna ask Gene a question. Gene, okay. you're a top five player, right? Okay. Is there a big difference for you to go into a live tournament making 2500 when you expect to win? Say that question one more time. Okay. You're a top five player, right? You're expected to go win $100,000, right? Okay. Is there a difference if you go to a tournament and you come up short between making either 2000 or 500 when 100000 is the goal? Is it a big difference? No, is it really even a, a little difference? To you? I mean, obviously it's a little different, but is that even a difference making no. five hundred to two thousand dollars? Really? No. When one hundred thousand is the goal, right? No, that's not a difference at all. Exactly. That's top players. Now, how about these guys that you know, little Jimmy that qualified through online because the club series was weak? Yeah. Do you think that's a? Do you think? But do you think that's a big difference even for him between five hundred two thousand? Because I really think he's cool with the free trip and making five hundred dollars. <laughs> I agree. No, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying though. And this is why this format could be good if they would have changed this. And I've done the math. And I went to New England and I lost. But okay. if I would have lost the first first game, I would have made um, two thousand okay. dollars and a free trip to New England. I think a lot of those guys would have been happy with a free trip to New England's field, being on the field and making five hundred dollars playing Madden, yeah. right? So if they would have just made that two thousand dollars last place finish five hundred dollars, you times it by sixty four because there was two, that would be ninety six extra thousand dollars that could have been out there for top eight finishes in other tournaments. And I thought about that if they, because like I said, a top top player, there's no difference between five hundred and two thousand. There's really not when you're expected to win a hundred thousand dollars. That's your goal. There's just no difference between fifteen hundred dollars. There's not. And for the guy doing it for experience for his first time, yeah, I got a free trip to California and I got five hundred dollars. Hell, you can't beat it, right? Yeah. That's how I look at it. But you know how? And but how I'm looking at it is that fifteen hundred dollars times 64 because 32 people but since it's two people it's times two 64 is ninety six thousand dollars could you imagine if they would have broke up that ninety six thousand in the top eight of finishes like that's where i'm at now and it could have easily been done and the money would have looked freaking phenomenal for making like first place like the first tournament instead of twenty five thousand could have been thirty five thousand and then the ultimate league instead of forty you know what i mean we could break it down that's ninety six extra thousand dollars. They did not need to pay out some of these payouts that they did, and it could have looked a lot better on paper. And that's just my opinion. I'm sure people will disagree with me, but that's just how I look at it. I think you're right, but I've I've grown to to realize that I don't think whoever runs everything cares about top players or people who play it every day and try to make it a living. I think they care about the people that don't play it because they want more people. I remember when I was playing, and the, uh, the randoms and the, uh, everyone who didn't have a chance to play stopped playing because of us, and I just don't think they want that. And I think whatever it takes to get someone who doesn't play Madden to play Madden is their goal and what you care about or what makes sense because you're a professional Madden player is none of their concern. And it shows. Yeah. It's, it's been showing throughout years and years and years, and I think it's going to get worse and worse and worse because they don't really care about you, the professional man player, in my opinion. Because we're going to play the game regardless. And, and yeah. we've always played and the I'm, game regardless. And, and I'm talking about, like, how I don't want a top five player to make a living off this. We want a top 10 or 15 player to make a living off this. Yeah. And that's how I feel like what I just said would help this out. Like I agree. We're I agree. rewarding our top, our top, top players. And I get we gone to a point where we want to give out consolation trophies and stuff like that. And that's fine. But I really don't feel like for those people, 500 to 2,000 is just that big of a difference. I really don't. Like, I think they should still get paid. That's cool. I got $500 free trip. And like I put in the chat, I get a $200 Visa gift card for food and Uber and all that stuff. That, I mean, that's not a bad little gig. And you get to go out and have a good time. And But for me, a top 10, top 20 player every year, I would love to have that 96,000 mean a little bit more to me for maybe a final eight finish. You know what I mean? Man, when we oh, went to, sure. when we to, we went to Hawaii and they just gave everyone a thousand dollars and a free trip to Hawaii or whatever, the people who, were lit. The people who don't play Madden were happy, the happiest people ever. Lit, right? And that's the, what I'm. That's and, exactly what I'm saying. And the professionals, so the professionals didn't care about it, but the most of the people there didn't play. That was their first tournament, and they was they were. I got a thousand dollars and I'm in Hawaii, man. Like they were happiest people ever. I'll still be like that. Like, <laughs> I'm cool. I'll tell you, man, the wins getting to the live event for me were, like, bigger than, than life, dude, especially the first one. 
And even after that, man, every live event, especially when they cut it to eight, I was like, please, God, I don't think I'm going to make it before the year. And then the Wyndham games go yeah. to the eight. Oh, man, it's, it's something else. Hey, look, you in the let me say let me say this. I see Techers in the chat. Don't worry, Techers, about a free trip. You're going to pop Ghost in that uh, club series. Don't even worry about it. Oh, you're yeah. going Go- you're gonna to make you some money. Ghost on Ghost- team up something right now. Go- Listen, Ghost, Ghost don't care about man no more. No, he won that one belt. He good. He, yeah, he, he good. good. No, no. No, 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 Ghost is scared of Techers. Trust me. I've heard it. He's no, scared Go- of Techers. No, Ghost scared of everybody. You you put somebody in front of Ghost, he's going to tell you how good this person is, how they tough. He, he's sneaky to play on the low. He's tough to play. That's Ghost's line. I swear to God, he's tough to play. No matter who he playing, Ghost is going ahead and win that, man. Hilarious. But, yeah, man, I, t- I talked about the top four a lot. I think that's a pretty devastating thing. It has to come back. You know what, W, I'll say this real quick. <clears throat> I got feedback from Madden 17. They asked me after Madden 17, what's your feedback? I said one thing. I said keep the top four. I, that's all I said. Keep the top four. It rewards the, your grinders, your better players from being fluked out in a single elimination. They go to group stage. I, that's okay. all I said. This year, two years later, there is no top four. Listen, None. that's it's completely they gone. They top don't, four they don't want y'all on the on the not to cut y'all. They don't want y'all holding a belt every single time. They it, it is what it is. They don't want they want somebody new up there because it it'll make everyone at home feel as though they have a chance to do it. I don't, see, I don't think so at all. Why see, don't you I think, think so? I think oh, you know so what? You think, no. I think Jimmy versus Joe. If if Skimbo play problem, it'll be way bigger to watch than if Jimmy plays Joe. I agree, but I don't think they necessarily I, want that. I think you know they, what's crazy? I think they want Jimmy versus Joe, and then next year they want Timmy versus Tom, and hey, then the following hey. year they want they want they, it. It yeah. just makes for. I agree. I that's I the, agree I, 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 that's the way I felt ever since I was playing. It, it came to a point where they don't want y'all there, and. They're going to show how bad no. they don't want y'all there. Gene, you know what's crazy, Gene? I, I'm going to say this because I kind of – I, 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 I wouldn't agree with this if I didn't hear this comment from someone okay. after I won the tournament. Matt Marquis says to me, and I, I thought about it later. He goes, could you imagine if every – like, could you imagine every tournament being like this, single elimination? I'm like, so as soon as you say that, Gene. That's, I, I'm, I, I believe that 100%. They've proven bro, it. He said, I did, maybe he meant it like, could you imagine if we did every tournament like this? Like, it's a good thing we don't. But then if you look at it, what if you really meant it like, you know what I mean? Like, I, it, that's funny you say that because the guy who runs the show said something like that. Now, he could have meant it two different ways. But if yeah. you meant it your way, then that is something. They've proven it to me. To me, they've proven it a hundred different times that they don't want you you being – because if it was a top four, you would be there all the time. And they but don't want that. Uh, what? I, I and it was. It was like, like that too. Baseball is better when the Yankees are good. Baseball I, is better when the Red Sox. The NBA is better when the Knicks and the Lakers are good. Period. It's something to watch, something to root against or root for. You're right, exactly. but I don't think they want that. I mean, but it's, it's, I think that's common sports marketing. I, I think. I mean, shoot. Well, we'll know next year if there is one. If they bring back the top four, I mean, they have to bring. They have to bring it back. No, I'm, it takes me 30 minutes to find a game on Draft Champions. This is the only mode we're supposed to grind. I ain't gonna lie, I'm bummed out. I, I didn't make Club Series like I lost. Right? I have two or three months. What am I gonna do? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm a professional Madden there. player. No, no, for real, though. Your professional Madden player, one of your top five Madden players this year, is not going to touch the game for two months. I, yeah. I just think no, that's going to going to have 17 names. Some of y'all lose no. to somebody running bunts. <laughs> no, Curl, no, flat, no, play. no. I won't. No, no one's Simbo. on Champions, Dub. No, Dubby, no one's on Draft Champions. Like, no one. There's no, uh, there's no reason to be on Draft Champions. What's the point? Exactly. Yeah. Everyone's getting ready for clubs. Like I said, there will be no cre- <clears throat> creep names. I have nothing to go again. But we know what Skimbo's doing now. Skimbo is going to be the first multi-sport yes, athlete. Well, He's running trying. a combine right now. Oh, man. So, Skimbo, like, all right. So, say, boom, they come to Michael Skimbo, boom, you getting drafted. The Sixers drafted Skimbo. Okay. And you get to a point where it's, damn, but now I got to give up Madden. Would you ever give up Madden if a team legit drafted you? I want to hear this answer. Uh, I'm 100% going 2K. Right. You're going right. 2K. All right. All right. Uh, I'm right. going to take a guaranteed $35,000, with a chance to make more money from winning and a chance to maybe if they talk to me about streaming and paying me like some of these guys, I'd be an idiot if I didn't because I know how the payout structure is for these other two tournaments. I agree. You know what 100%. I mean? 100%. I mean, I don't I, think it's an option. And, it's and, not. It's not an option. And I think about it because what would that do for Madden? I think ultimately this would make Madden look awful. And it would have to – if if Skimbo, who is the biggest player right now, the most successful player in the MCS era, said, you know what, 
Madden's MCS structure is not good enough for me. He's the best player in the last four years. You know, without a doubt, he's the biggest yeah. player. Yeah. If if he yeah. went turned around and said, you know what, I'm going to go to 2K instead. Mark, who got to go that that five minutes after that announcement, <laughs> he, they all got to go. You got to pick up Something's 15 happen, new right? people right. off of the street. Right. So ultimately, <laughs> I'm I'm rooting hard as shit for Skimbo to make the 2K League. I'm like, yo, let's stream. I, l- listen, we going to just stream you playing center. They going to see that you can make the 2K League, all this. I didn't, ha- I did, I, I didn't have a 2K. I got as moment as I didn't have a 2K, and you can ask everyone back in the day. I It got to a point where it's like, this is pointless to play in or whatever. I'd rather do anything else to play this or whatever, and it and it's, it is where it's at, where it is today. I think if, if disappointingly, if Skimbo went to 2K, which I, I hope I hope happened, I don't think anything <laughs> will change. They have to. They have I don't, I just think it's it's I I've seen it. I've seen I've seen me be on a me be on a fence by myself, me go out of my way, not not going to Mad Nation the first season for for reasons I don't need to discuss on here. Me me going out of my way not playing tournaments in Philly for reasons mm-hmm. and it's like, yo, this is stupid, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this and it just seems like everyone will do the exact opposite and they See. don't care anything about what's smart and it'll go it'll just go on and go on and of the combine on top of the uh the league did y'all know well i think w knows i don't know gene knows this like you know mutt ultimate team like imagine if they had like a mutt ultimate team tournament out of nowhere for two hundred fifty thousand. right that's a mm-hmm. lot of money right yeah. mm-hmm. they they have that for not only for the 2k league players that are guaranteed their contracts to make more money they have a, a my team like an ultimate team for 2k two hundred fifty thousand dollar tournament right now mm-hmm. Man, like <laughs> they have it so good. I hope I hope they never mess that up. Man, they don't know how good they are. That, I think, that's amazing. I think ultimately us as man players are big enough to if we all stopped, but it's impossible to get everybody to do that. It's it, dumb. That's what I'm saying. If, if, if we it all did no it, for if we all did it, it would. But it's like it's only gonna be a few of y'all. And then the the main player, it's some main players, some main players with big names that just won't do it. They, yeah. they won't do but it. Ultimately, I think I don't even think I think of the top 30, 40. If we went and did our own thing, I think it could be successful. The problem is we don't have the money. It's hard to tell Kib or Joke or Ghost or even Prop don't play in the EA shit where they're giving away a million dollars. It's impossible to tell them that. But I do think if we did have a union and we did go do our own thing, that it would definitely make some changes happen. Because I think over the last three or four years, most of the players have built up a name that's big enough and able to, you know, to make a recognizable change because of how big we have gotten as players yeah. and individuals yeah. that I do think it would make a difference, but it's just impossible to really unite everybody and say, you know, I don't want EA's money. Cause at the end of the day, we all want EA's money. And it's really not that hard for people that are good to get a piece of EA's money right yeah. now. You know what I'm saying? So it's impossible to get people to change that really. I don't know. Uh, I mean, like I said, the 2K league is ran by the NBA. And maybe the NBA just knows like what the heck, what the f they're doing, right? Like Adam Silver, all those guys, like that's his, like that's all them. It's Dude, like no doubt. If, if 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 all these people that have the millions and billions of dollars that are in the NFL, they know that esports is bigger than life right now. Yeah. It's to the yeah. point where they don't they don't care about Madden. Yeah. They care about esports. Yeah. I'm gonna put my money in Fortnite. I'm the Pittsburgh Steelers have their own esports team. Yeah, they don't have shit to do with Madden. Yeah. They're gonna continue to put their money into esports. Yeah. And Madden has to become relevant enough for them to want to invest in Madden. Because right now they're saying, damn, the money's in Fortnite. The money's yeah, in Counter-Strike. What, it's what I was really saying, legends. though, was, yeah, and that's great for the 2K League and NBA. We've sat with the NFL. But honestly, like, we got to get our stuff right. Even with the money we're giving out. The, with the money we're giving out, there's nothing about what our what our structure is good. Like, really. Besides, we're giving out a bunch of money. That's they literally it. You promote. know what I mean? That's literally it. They don't promote it. They don't promote it. And and I, I tell you, and I know I know you look at it just as much as I do. This is all I look at. Yeah. During the day, Saturday, I was chilling, and I'm ready to watch the Vikings Club Championship. I check I all day. I don't even know the time. Here's my of point. It. I check all day because I check. So this is the Vikings Club series. I'm checking the Vikings Twitter. I'm checking Madden League Ops, which we always talked about. I, past broadcast. Y'all want to watch them? They on the YouTube. Right. It's embarrassment. Madden League Ops. The Madden, the Madden Twitter, the regular one, and the Mutt one. And I just I, – because winning these club series is a big moment. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Obviously, Strafing was at the stadium. That's really cool. Yeah. Joe Rice was there. That was really – whatever it may be. And I just really wish these people 
Because honestly, me winning the tournament was the best thing that ever happened to me. It was awesome. Yeah. Dude, with all the attention, whether it be, yeah. uh, most of it was negative at the time. But looking back at it, I mean, it was just the whole experience being around the many people, being promoted like that. And I want everybody that succeeds in this to have that type of experience that I have. Yeah. So I really took a lot of eyes on what they do, how they promote, and how they big up. These players, like Ryan, like uh, Wesley, like Jay Wall, whoever made that put this much time and energy into the game to, su- to succeed and experience something incredible in their life, and they just don't promote it at all, and, and it, it's really they, they don't. I, I literally just got uh, literally just logged on to Twitter and saw Figgy one, and I'm like, how? I, when did he play? Like, <laughs> hey, you want to you want you want to hear something Philly. funny? You want to hear something funny? I played Sunday, I think, yeah. at New England. Uh, I didn't know what time I was playing until nine o'clock that night <laughs> on Saturday, and I played in the event. I didn't know what time I was going to play. I had no email. I had no message. I showed up, saw someone from EA, I said, uh, yeah, what time do I even play tomorrow? I, I never even heard. And that's a competitor that plays the next day. That's having crazy. no idea. That's crazy. I, you literally got to log on Twitch all the time just to see if they're up or whatever. Get their notifications or something. Like, I literally log on, and it's just like, Figgy won. Congratulations, Figgy. And again, I'm like, seriously? When did he win? Like, like I'm from Philly. Yeah. Why don't I know this? Like, it's crazy. Twitch is huge now. Like, there's yeah there's, from so many games. Twitch is huge because and they honestly, have put because no Ninja, effort into Ninja Twitch. Ninja helped out so much. Like, it's crazy how much Ninja helped. And uh, it's just, it's just, there's no incentive to stream Madden. There's no attention. I don't know yeah. why they don't view bot. Why the hell don't they view bot? Like, I, the Man Classic got over twenty thousand views on on Twitch, which is probably the biggest it's been on Twitch since Madden Seventeen. Right. Cause man, I don't know what the hell they were doing, man. Seventeen, but man, seventeen was a fifty k, seventy k, eighty k people. I'm like, yeah. what the hell? What's the difference between man seventeen, man eighteen, and man nineteen? Because right now they have completely ignored Twitch, and I don't know, I don't know what's going on, dude. It's not my job well, and all that. You're but. right, though. We have to do better marketing because I look at, I, I, we got to use the two K league, right? Two K mm-hmm. players love Madden. Madden players love two K. We're sports gamers, right? Yeah. Now a lot of like I am. A lot of other people play other games. I just like sports games. That's just me. I only like sports games. And mm-hmm. Dragon Ball Z. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so uh, what was I saying? Um, so I look look at their look at their Twitter. They've had it for less than a year. It's verified with 70,000 followers. Uh, NBA Combine, whatever. NBA, NBA 2K League. Like it took them less than a year to have that. We had we've had Madden League Ops for three years now. And we have bigger yeah. Twitters than them. I feel like. And, oh, and, yep. mm-hmm. and, and our name is still Madden League Ops, by the way. I don't understand why it's still that, not something like NBA 2K League or the Madden championships like something that sounds cool something see okay so if you were to watch the 2k league you hear keep hearing them say nba 2k league right so yeah, you go yeah. on twitter type in nba 2k league there's something so when you hear madden championship era madden championship series you go on twitter you type that in wait i was supposed to type in madden league ops to f- hear about all this stuff no one in their right mind that's a casual at home would think oh yeah madden league ops that's got to be the one i got to click on when there's one for the nba that says nba 2k league on it like what it is with a check mark and so, mm. I mean, how are we supposed to grow when we can't even get, like, stuff like that right? All right, see, and my man Bobby says in the chat, Mark, he says, you are the GOAT, but you don't stream or promote Madden. So maybe it's on the players as well. How do you feel about that? Uh, I will when I get when, I will when I get paid $30 an hour. Okay. So now you know me as a person that streamed and put so much effort into this shit. Right. If someone turns why, around why, and, and pays. Why should I stream? If oh, the you're right. Not the I, no, 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 no. I agree, no, but my I, point is. If anybody, if EA ever comes to you and offers you money to stream or Kiv money to stream, I, I would take it in a okay, heartbeat. Okay, and you're right. And me, as a person that streamed for free without them helping me a fucking lick, right? I would be furious. Furious. But that's how 2K. That's how 2K. My, well, I, if they I understand. Didn't offer you, but my yeah. po- yes, my point is that the people that are doing it now for pennies, yeah. Yeah. for shit, for fun, and to promote the game, if we weren't offered the same shit. I would be furious. Now, no doubt if Kiv and Skimbo, if they went out there and they streamed, it would make Madden grow immensely on Twitch. For sure. Not, I mean, I don't know how much it would do, but it would definitely help. But if they ever went to the guys that didn't stream and say, you know, we'll, we'll offer you X, Y, and Z to stream, and they didn't put it to the person that just beating their ass to stream and sacrificing all the competitive advantage to stream, if they didn't offer us the same thing, if not more, I would be furious with that, honestly. <sighs> You think it would help? Yeah, but like I said, this, problem, this comes from I mean, NBA players. My fault. You think it would help if Skimbo and Kiv stream? I don't see it. Yeah. But I another do. thing with Kiv, streaming isn't necessarily – being good at the game isn't – Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you got to be a streamer, and it's like that's a different but type of talent. Help. It definitely would help. 
the return the return of streaming is uh, you have to really grind that shit for years and years Bro. and years. Gene, I'll just put it this way: I, I streamed one MCS game and I got popped by Kiv. I lost. Yeah. You know how many views I had? I promoted that stream ten minutes before it happened. You know how many viewers I had in there? How many? Fifteen hundred in ten minutes. That's huge. No, I I in think ten, yeah I think minutes. Kiv and Kiv and Skimbo, they streamed it with hell. But then, but I think they we should all get paid honestly. I, I mean that's how I feel. I mean the shit is the shit is helping their game. Yeah, you say that, but then you, like I said, you look at 2K, they only do it for their top two players. They don't do it for everyone. So I mean, you got to choose. I mean, I don't know. I don't really know what the hell out. I, I don't know what's going on with 2K. I don't know what their situation is, but I'm just like talking said, about those players that are signed with those organizations, like the Wizards. Only the top two players get paid for the stream. Even some of some of them only one. They only offer it to one. Like one player on the team, like the Wizards. Yeah, would all, yeah. I don't, I don't really know how that works. I'm just saying, if EA came out and was like, "Yo, Kiv and Skimbo, look at y'all secret money. Y'all want to start streaming? We'll give you twenty dollars an hour." Or I'd be sick about that shit, honestly. Well, not me Shoot, now I, in my personal situation. I, I say but, that's yeah. deserved. Hell, I've done all that Why? money. Shit, I deserve it. Nah, you tripping? No, hell <laughs> you no. Tripping. You don't give it to some random that doesn't win? Are you crazy? No, but I'm saying you give it to people you that... Give it, have, I think they, why, they should give it to Prime or W for anybody. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, Well, of course. We're talking about two, but I'm thinking you're talking about a lot more than you two. I'm cool with you. Oh, no, no. This, thinking, yeah, oh, this is my point. I'm just saying me. I'm, I'm saying W. I don't give a fuck oh, about everybody yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying... I'm not you saying... Yeah, all right. I'm talking from my perspective why I would be pissed about it. For you? I don't want them to come to Shakobi and say, yo, stream, I'll give you $20. Like, Shakobi's my guy, but I just say him because he popped okay, up on, the, cool. on my little... Okay, cool. Uh, now yeah, we're on the same Yeah, we're on the same yeah I'm talking about yeah, Debbie and Problem or, I mean, fuck. Somebody like... I'm talking, it, ha it has to be like belt winners with a good following. Like, there has yeah. to be standards to it. Yeah. Y'all obviously meet that standard. That's where yeah. I was at, Dub. Yeah, I'm not talking about the Randy Dandies. Okay, yeah, yeah, cool. for sure. But I I don't know. I think I think if they put more effort into Twitch. I tell them all the time if they did shows every day, because yeah. I don't know where the hell these 5,000 people that watch Madden Twitches every time they do a show, where do they come from? Who are these people? I need those people to know who we are. You know what I'm saying? The people that, the, the, there's really only like 1,000, 1,500 men. Yeah. And regardless. you know what? The stuff, and I got to see it a little bit, the stuff that Farles and Gibbs are doing in the morning, they're doing, they're, they, they've listened. They, they, every time they're done with their stream, they go and raid someone. And they do it, someone that has a face cam, and they're into it. They'll go look. I've, I've seen it. They'll mm -hmm. go look, and they're like, all right, we're rating him. Like, let's give him all our views. Like, they're doing that now. Mm -hmm. So I think – now, I don't I don't even think that has anything to do with the MCS, by the way. That's just, like, Barls and Gibbs and, like, you know, Crayolo and all those dudes. That's them dudes just being good dudes. I wish they were more involved with us. Yeah, for sure. I don't know, man. I don't want any drops. Drops are the devil. Yeah, drops yeah, are wild, know. but they still throw the views in. Yeah, I don't know what. I, listen, that's not my job. I wish it was better. I wish I made ten thousand dollars a month off Twitch. I really do, but you know, I, I don't know if Madden will ever get there. I don't know how much of the spectator sport it is outside yeah. of the <laughs> nerds, really. That we and, I, and I got to say this because I got to get off, but I'm gonna say this since I'm gonna sound like a cheese bar and cornball, but I be thinking this all the time just because I'm a coach. If anyone hears this from the MCS. I know sometimes you guys feel like what you're doing is unappreciated and all you do is take shit all the time. <laughs> and it makes you not want to work. And it makes you not want to help us out. Just know we really do appreciate what you guys are doing. We just want it to be better. So please don't try to take this as negativity all the time. Because I can see on the outside, all they do is talk shit. All they say is how bad we are. Why should we want to work toward this and that? You know, and I understand going to work, that might be kind of demoralizing as far as you not being liked by the community, but you are getting a paycheck at the end of the day. And all I got to say to them is before I get it off, just keep working with us, try to listen to us. And it really is together. We're just a little upset, but I feel like it's an easy fix and we just got to get it done. And that's what I'll end it with. We need some leadership. Dude, that, that's I'm, what I, I want. I've been, trying, yep. I, I've been trying to get in there because I'm yep. I'm not playing this game no more. I've been trying to help. Like I definitely, I definitely love to help. Just, you go. I've been lo I've been wanting to help for so long, and it's just not happening. But it's just certain things that I don't know. I wish it had happened because I feel as though a lot of the stuff is easy fixes. In my opinion, a lot of the stuff is easy fixes, and they just need someone who played the game to, to tell them. Mm -hmm. and, I don't think. For I don't. Sure. Th I don't think if I don't think it matters to them. But if it did matter, I'm I'm here. 
Yeah, see? Yeah. See? There you go. All right, Mike. All right. Well, go ahead and get some rest. I know the yeah, 2 a.m. window is coming in high. Well, I'm, I'm two hours past my Chinese time. I eat Chinese for dinner every night. And, uh, <laughs> I was supposed to eat it two hours ago. So Mike, I'm, don't I'm worry. We back time. tonight. Wesley been talking crazy this time. Hey, when you get home, let's run some pro-am because the combine it starts at 1 a.m. Yeah, so, all right. For, thanks for having me on, though. For NG. sure, my guy. I appreciate you coming by for a while. There he is. It's a new goat, Michael Skimbo. You know what I'm saying? Gene is now number three, number one in our hearts, though. You know what I'm saying? So, what? It is what it is. Yeah, we, I, honestly, I talk to Mike about that, like, consistently yeah. every other day. So, yeah. we talk about the MCS. So, we know where each other stands. Yeah. And uh, it's definitely some things that need to be fixed. Yeah. And like I said, stepping away, watching everybody go through this. Yeah. It definitely gives you a different view vantage point and seeing everything that, that could be done and, and will be done. And their 2K league is like, you talk about pressure. That's like, we're like the WNBA and the 2K league is like the yeah, NBA yeah. right now. And it's, it's, and it's getting worse. It's pretty rough. <laughs> it's and I, I, I don't know if there's a, I don't know, 2K, but honestly, 2K, the, the way the game plays compared to Madden is just so more conducive to yeah. that type of team play. Let's yeah. draft the team. It's just so much better honestly for that type of thing man. yeah but we'll get there and Hopefully. you know so that's mad and that's pretty much like i said i didn't want to do the minnesota club series because i'm going to need something to talk about next week right and i'm going to need to be break down some game film that we saw some great games at the minnesota club actually we saw one great game and we're going to break that down next week we are i like on, that game you, do you, you like that final game yeah i like that game. all right but like i said we that, that we had two hours and, tw and 20 minutes already right and we got to talk about the Philadelphia Eagles. Chuck, we got to. We de we need to. Are we going to fight? I definitely think we're going to fight. I I I definitely think we're going to fight. I I you know you know how huge of a Foles fan I am. I I hate Foles. I you, yes you do. Um, I have always hated Foles. I just think he may not be the ta most talented, but he has it. It's, oh, he's tough. It, it, as it's shit. something he. I, he's tough. It, he's it's a not dog. too many people. It, if it's if you're in a room full of hundred, it's about six to eight people who have it and. He has it, and um, uh, he could he could quarterback for this team. Any he's day tough. Of the week. He's I mean, he's tough as a dog, man. I, and that's something we'd always admire, no matter what. And he lets it fly, man. He yeah, he don't care. Give a shit. He don't you care. Know, some, he, and, and dude, I remember twenty. What did he throw? Twenty eight and two picks, or twenty seven and two, whatever it may be. Yeah. I'm thinking every time people brought that up, I'm like, yo, if you really watch the games, there should have been like twenty, <laughs> twenty touchdowns and yeah, twelve interceptions. Yeah, something like, like that. He yeah, just yeah, let yeah. that thing fly. He just doesn't care, but it it works in his advantage, man, because he's not overthinking. He's third and eight, and he's looking at different. He's looking at Jeffries, and he's throwing it up, and he's just not caring. He's just like, go get it, Jeffrey, and it's go get it. And, and he definitely makes Jeffrey better. Yeah, I I I love him, man. I I. I definitely think we're gonna fight. I was totally surprised by Maddox. The oh, way he kind of balled. Man, if he Dude, could play let like me that, tell you that stuff doesn't matter. It's about the four in the front. Of That's course all it is. Football's about. Of and course you, it is. Michael Bennett. He is the man. Michael he, Bennett is a dog. He is so underappreciated, man. I, man, he man. Michael Bennett is such a dog. Because if we don't get to the playoffs, it, it's not going to show how much he meant to that line. Mm -hmm. He man, that sign that was amazing. He don't. Amazing. He don't and, and when you look at him, he just be exhausted. He be hurt. Like he just looked like he just gave every snap. But he's just, and that that's what makes the that's what made him last year. And honestly, that's what's going to that's what won him the game in Los Angeles. Really, that's that's the only way they're going to be able to play defense, man. Because the corners, man, if you don't have Revis or you don't have these superstars out there, they're, they're just all similar to me, dude. And that's why I always told you, man, I just want somebody that tackles, somebody that fights and competes. And that's why I love Mills. And we done miss Mills a little bit. No matter how much you say, we done miss Mills a lot for the yeah. last few weeks. That's that's the I truth. And I'm not. A, I hate Mills. They yeah. we missed him a lot. I it, until a until last game yeah, where Maddox I saw Maddox. Ball. I man, even the games that we won when we beat the Giants or when we beat the Redskins, we missed. Like, oh my god, man! Mm -hmm. like, our corners is bad or whatever. Yeah, they're bad, and it's gonna be tough this week. With I, Mr. Hopkins coming to town. I, honestly, I I just want to see how our offense. Handles that defense. <clears throat> I want to see how. And I'll tell you this. That's the only thing I'm worried about. The I'm, best thing they did the other night, they made Aaron Donald invisible. Invisible. They, they, they let they. Man, they did a good job on Aaron Donald. That's the first game all year I He's didn't invisible. see Aaron Donald. He I was invisible, and, and a lot of that goes to the coaching. But then, but the Eagles do have 
a great interior offensive line between yeah. Brooks and Kelsey, even with Nooski, who if you want to say is the weak, he was the average guy. Yeah, Kel- Kelsey's just, I mean, dude, he's been unreal the yeah. last last four years or so. You know, he started with a bang, had like a little low in his play, and then yeah. he just Kelsey's just unreal. But I mean, they they got it. Minnesota got to lose one game. That's that's all. I think it's gonna happen. Call me crazy. I think they're gonna oh, lose that's to Chicago. You don't like Cousins. I think yeah, I think they're gonna lose to Chicago. Chicago needs to still. Chicago be has mix. to play. Chicago had to play because they want they want the one they can still they get the two buy. seed. And I, listen, I just want Chicago, Minnesota got to lose. Eagles, man, it's next. It's this week. To me, they got to win. It's this week. It's this week. I don't want to look past the Redskins, but I don't care about the Redskins. Put it that way. It's this week. It's really this week. For sure. Uh, and then, shoot, it's, it's gonna come down because Seattle probably gonna make it, even though they lost to the Niners. Which was wild. Uh, I, they they it's, it's they could lose to the Chiefs. They got a game. Don't they have a game ahead? Aren't they like eight or eight they, and six they, right now? I think. Yeah, they could lose to the Chiefs. They play the Chiefs this week. Yeah, but I think they're gonna win. In my opinion, I think they're gonna win. It's but let's say they game? lose to the Chiefs. It's a home game. It's, 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 it's home game. Yeah, it's I think they're gonna win. But let's say they lose. It, no, they they got to beat Arizona. And and I, 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 I think they're gonna win one of those two games. They're gonna win one of those two games. So it'll be nine and seven. But the yeah. Eagles. They got a better chance with them because they lost to every other team that's in the race. You know, they can't – well, they're not going to be tied with Minnesota no matter what. That's all of Minnesota. Is it really – that's all it is. It's all of Minnesota. Seattle's not losing two straight. And, and we don't own any tiebreakers because we lost every NFC game in the world. Eagles. Damn, that's so crazy. We don't own any tiebreakers. So. They should. The Eagles should be the, at least the three seed, really. I got <laughs> Eagles just win one game in their t- – uh, Dallas, Dallas ain't going to lose. They're not going to lose. They're not losing the two out. straight. No. Not to the Buccaneers and the Giants. They're not they losing two straight. Walk. But shoot. And then in the AFC, man, the Patriots going to have to go on the road, man. Nah. I mean, I think they they're going to be the second five seed. Losses. I think they're I'm saying to get to the bowl, they're going to have to go on the road eventually. <laughs> nah. You don't like Kansas City. I know like you don't like Kansas City. Nah. I, I, I just know Andy Reid, man. I know something's going to happen, and I know I – know Something's gonna happen in the fourth quarter. He gonna he gonna do something. I I I know what's gonna happen. I just know what's gonna I happen. I think Kansas City's probably the third toughest place to play in the NFL. True. Behind Seattle and New Orleans, those two but teams it, had the best home field. Then I think it's Arrowhead, and the Patriots look soft. Right. Now. Very soft. I, I don't think the Patriots bad. are good at all. I don't think they're good at all. But I've seen KC playing KC, and it's a, like the Ravens game. They should have lost the Ravens game. Yeah. They lost to the Chargers in the KC. I think it could happen. Like, I just – I just. So you would like the Pats in KC? I think the Chargers are the best team in the AFC, in my opinion. The Chargers are good. I think the Chargers are the best sure. team in the AFC, but in the my char- opinion. The problem with the Chargers is – They're going to have to be on the road. Three, unless, three unless, games. Exactly. Unless Seattle beats KC this week. Like, it may, if Seattle beats KC this week, it could be going through San Diego. San Diego. I mean, LA. San Diego is a soft place to go through, though. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, that's not really a. That's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it may not have to go through KC, but I, I I don't know. I don't. The only team I feel high about, I feel I love the Ravens defense. I love the Chargers, period. And everybody else, I, I don't I don't think much of the Texans. I don't know. I, I mean, I haven't watched the Texans. I don't, I don't think, know what they got going on. I don't on. think much of the Patriots. I I don't think much of the Colts. <laughs> I really don't think much of the Steelers. Now the Steelers could all, always a tricky team though, because they got the quarterback who sometimes is great, and other sometimes times it's like, bad. bro, like, yeah. what's up? You all right? Yeah. But they still got Antonio Brown, who I, I'm still taking Antonio Brown over everybody. I don't, I don't care. He got to show me a couple years of slowing down before I don't take Antonio Brown as the best wide receiver. I like Hopkins. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, it's it's hard to hop. I like Antonio Hopkins. Brown. Antonio Brown for me is still like I, I I would never argue that. I like Hopkins. I like Hopkins over everybody. It probably except for Brown, honestly. I like Hopkins. Yeah, Hopkins balling for sure. But I mean, so I still feel like the Steelers still they still got a chance to make a run. I I, I don't think the Steelers going to make the playoffs. I think they're going to lose to the Saints this week in New Orleans, and the Ravens going to the division. The Ravens are sneaky, too, but I, they can't get it done with the read option unless they play an elite defense. Like, you got to put to play with that. You got to, like, be in nine to six ball games all the time. And they got to – hopefully they get that home – their first game at home, and it's a nasty day. Like, just yeah. a rainy, snowy, just nasty day like that. But 
It's definitely interesting. I think it's tight, both sides, really, the NFC. But then again, I, I don't think anybody's going into New Orleans and beating New Orleans. May, I, honestly, I don't think the Rams are. I don't, the Rams I'm, are kind of suspect right God now. Got the honest truth, and this may this may sound crazy because I'm a fan. I don't, I only see one quarterback going in there, and that's fools. Everybody else, I don't. Dak, no golf, no. Trubisky. I no. think the Bears. Would, honestly, the Bears as a team had the best shot. Trubisky will but throw yeah. three interceptions, and I don't think no quarterback not named Foles in the NFC has a chance in New Orleans. And that's just not me being a fan. That's just real. I think he's the only one that go in there and not care about New Orleans. Right. Everyone else, I think. I think New Orleans would kill the NFC. Yeah. That's just me that's me being real. See, I think New Orleans is so soft. Though. That I do too, but in New Orleans it's it's so different. They go they haven't played in a dome in months. They don't have another role yeah. game for yeah. the rest of the year. Yeah. They got two two home games and they got home field advantage. I don't unless they play Nick Holes, like right, Kirk Cousins not doing it, Trubisky's not doing it, Dak's not doing it. Maybe Dak, Russell Wilson, nice. but I I don't see it. Thank God for Dak too. Dak and Jason Garrett stopped the Cowboys. From Dak, that's what I'm saying. They, they're man, and but I, they stuck with Dak. What the hell else can they do? I thought Dak was I thought Dak was good, and he just proved me so wrong. It's like yo, he's playing bad. I tell you what, Amari Cooper helped the hell out of him though. He did, but still, it's still Dak. It's still <laughs> like they put up 600 yards and barely beat us. And and shouldn't have beat us. I'll tell you the truth. We got cheated. Yeah. <laughs> they, they put up 600 yards and shouldn't have beat us. And they'll never play that good. Boy, they shouldn't have won the first game either. They'll dude. never they, play that. They was, they was laid down so many times. Dude. Yeah. I, I, they got beat by the Saints. Whoop they ass. That they just that was a buzzsaw between the injuries. and. But, the, I mean, I feel like the Eagles should have won so many more games, dude. Should have beat the Titans. Should have beat Carolina. Should have beat Dallas at least once. What the hell else game did they, they lost to the Saints? Yeah, they, we should have lost to the Saints. We they should have lost, lost to the Minnesota. Bucks. Oh my God! We should have lost to the Bucks. We should have lost Minnesota. They sh- Minnesota. We should have lost to Minnesota. They suck, no. but they play better than us. The Eagles was cooking. Wentz fumbled to the crib. Yeah, that was then it. Then they yeah. fought back. A Jai fumbled on the inch Yeah, line. Was, if they didn't take them two fumbles out, Minnesota not fucking with the Eagles too. I don't think Probably. Minnesota's better, but they was better than us that game. Tennessee wasn't better than us, and Tennessee and the Panthers was embarrassing. Yeah. Tennessee and the Panthers we shouldn't have lost, and one of the Dallas games we shouldn't have lost. Like we deserve everything we get. They right almost now. tried to throw up that Saints or the, the last game last night, the other night. Yeah, it was thirty to thirteen. They had a ball on the ten yard line. And why would you throw it? Oh my! You better God. all taking knees. Why would you throw it? Yeah, that 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 opened the door. That was like, oh, we cool. We still have seventeen. Cause even a field goal there. Now you're up 20 what? points. Now they can't kick a field goal. No yeah, they can't kick so that they field goal. Force they... everything. Now that field goal that they kicked made it like, all right, it's a little tighter. I'm saying, and you're but they wouldn't have had to kick that. They would. They would have went for they it. It was like a fourth and fifteen, and it's Plus like that. At, at that time, when you play Madden as much, once you're up 17 points, you only have one opponent, and that's the clock. Yeah, like I don't it. care what. I don't want to score any more points. I just want to take time off the clock. And they went and passed the ball. And, and I'm and arguing with Bulls haters, and I'm like, yeah, it was a bad pass or whatever. Sure, but he, he shouldn't have. He shouldn't have had that option to he pass. Been he shouldn't have been wrong. Yeah, that, uh, I don't. I think we missed Frank right, but that's a different subject. We fighting now. We got to fight. I don't know what the hell they missed. They missed a damn running back. Badly. Uh, underrated. Uh, you was talking about Blunt early in the year, and I was like, man, it don't matter that much. We miss him because but even Blunt, and then even Ajay. Ajay was a fighter. Yeah, back. we needed like, those. Dude, they don't. The you Eagles that. don't have a single player on the roster that breaks a tackle. Nope. And Smallwood was doing it last game, and that's that's the stuff that we missed. Like the stuff that Smallwood was Just falling forward, fall and forward. that little that, that that three four yards of it, that don't, that's not much. But hey, that second and six for fools is way better than freaking yeah, second and ten. For sure. And I I just. I hate Eagles Twitter, dude. I hate. Them. Oh, Eagles Twitter is hilarious. No, it, it, it's I bad. Them, you know, Cause it's, they don't want. They they think Eric, the next person. They think Jamal Adams is Le'Veon Bell. <laughs> the light, he don't ever fall for it. He always go um he freaking got, east and he west. Got decent speed though. Like he does take an angle from times. But why are you trying to take the angle? He actually gets out outside. But he he. I mean, he's a body dude. I uh, miss a guy. Obviously, miss Blunt, but. We I think to, obviously that's their biggest weakness is the running back. We need two running backs, man, because that takes so much pressure off quarterbacks, man. But they're gonna fight. I think the place gonna be crazy this weekend. I think it's gonna motivate them, and yeah. they, they got to jump out, man. They got. You know me. I'm the I'm the person that a negative Eagles fan. I for some reason I think I think we I think we're gonna make the playoffs. 
I feel like 09 or 08, whatever year that yeah, was. Yeah, that like, year we won't I ain't even make. waking up today. It's the last game of the year, and all of a sudden in the playoffs. I feel and then the NFC Championship game and the game where McNabb laid down the most in his whole life. Yep. That, yep, that was the Eagles should have. The Eagles should have won the Super Bowl that year. That was the game. That was the game I was done with McNabb. I I forgave him for the Super Bowl, and then he did that at Arizona. And that's like I'm six done. years after. I'm done. And the crazy thing that always pissed me off about McNabb, and I will tell you about this the Super Bowl. Yeah. I felt like he had his best game, but then he threw like the four worst passes of his life. And it messed the whole game up. Because the other passes, like the touchdowns to L. J. Smith and Westbrook, were just nice. lasers. Like nice. and then he was dot, and then he just threw like some of the worst picks. That yep. was McNabb. Dude. I remember that one pass Kimbo just threw against Little Man. I was that like, was why? One? That was McNabb. It was like, why? Yeah. Why? You just everything messed this else whole he did was just... game up because the Patriots could not score in the first half, and then in the second half we couldn't yeah. stop. Them Even if at the Eagles all. was up three nothing, they'd have been cool, and they yeah. just they threw away so many points. And the, the Cardinal game, he just sucked him in the first and half. Him and I was done with him and Acres that game. I was like, I'm done, yo. I can't do it no more. Him and Acres. Oh, I'm excited about that. Did you look at any of your lines? Who you betting on? You don't know yet. I like the Saints. Over the Steelers. That's on, in uh, Pittsburgh? Uh, uh, that's in New Orleans. Oh, was it, well, how much? I think they got to be getting nine points. No, nah, it was lower than nine. Lower than nine? Yeah. I like it then, too. I I, I love the Saints. Well, not if it was too low, though. Then it's fishy. I love I love the Saints. I, I don't think the Steelers are going to compete with them at all. That's in my opinion. They're tough to play. Yeah. Yeah, shoot. All right, well. We've been here for two hours and 40 minutes. Yep. I know my guys in the back are tired and they want to go home. My guy's cleaning up a computer. <laughs> so I left a lot more stuff to talk about. We'll see if you're able to make it here next week. We talk about Minnesota. Because I love, I love that final game. If I could get here, I'm definitely It here. was a crazy final game. I yeah. talked to my man, Wolfman. He hit me up and said, I just want to comment on some things you said about the game. And, I, and we talked about it. He said, I just want to make a name for myself. But I said, you did good. You played a very good player. I think he was, you he, was impressive. He was the reason why he lost, in my opinion. He did some dumb shit. He was the only reason he lost. No disrespect to Javon. He was the only reason he lost. He definitely did opinion. some things that were like, bruh. But he, yeah. he was unique. He, I loved it. He got he was wild sometimes. And, and a lot of things I I thought, like, bro, like, why? Like, it, it, yeah. It, it, so it, it's, I love watching people freestyle. Yeah. Because – when I see people freestyling, I try to think what they're thinking. Yeah. You know, and a lot of it made sense in a couple of plays. Heard them. And, but we'll talk we'll about, about that when it comes yeah. to it. I don't care if we got to start at 9 o'clock. We can start at 9, whatever it may be. So we're going to be here at Minnesota Club Series next week because I need to start spreading some of this stuff out. Yeah. Pause. And we're going to – so I got to be able to, I mean, fill up some shows, honestly. Yeah. And, uh, but, yeah, I appreciate all y'all coming by. We got to talk to the new Gold Skin Bowl with the real Gold Gene. I uh, got to talk about his performance, and uh, next week we want to talk about the Vikings Club Series. Hopefully the Eagles will be 8-7 and seven next week, Hopefully. and the Vikings will lose to the Lions, which isn't out of the realm of possibilities because Stafford be has hilarious. some wild things. Stafford could, Stafford could get that some would bullshit. That would be hilarious. And uh, that should be the plan next week. I mean, but yep. that's we'll it, see. man. I appreciate my guy Gene coming through. Yes, sir. Talking about Michael Skimbo and, and the whole, you know, old man, new man type of thing that we can talk about for hours, really. That's yeah. how it goes. So uh, please hit the like button. Please comment on what you want to hear us talk about. Also, chat, I appreciate all you guys coming by. And in your two cents, it is not forgotten. I really appreciate y'all. See y'all next week. Yes, sir.